Thank God. Oh, I need to delete. We got the Kubo, Isaac, Adam, mm -hmm. Kale, Silva, Wolfheart, Jack. Oh, I'm not sure that I actually need Silva and Jack around here, so we're not going to load them up right now. All right, I should be be a good player and pull up my character sheet so I can. That's uh, a good idea. <laughs> I'm full of those. Yeah, last character sheet I pulled up was entitled God. Uh, it took a little bit to find. Far foreshadowing there a little bit early, <laughs> are we? <laughs> a little bit. I had to um, refresh myself. Express your cereals. Destroy our men. Catch up! Uh, catch up? Welcome back, Get catch up. Get out of the walls. <laughs> <laughs> I already had to kick him out of mine today. I'm, I'm willing permitted. to do it again. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> what? Then you're not permitted to be inside the walls. Yeah, I put an offer on a house today, so you you might actually want to get out of the walls. I might not be here much longer. <laughs> not everyone is as comfortable with you being a wall goblin as we are. Yeah, I've had some complaints from the neighbors downstairs. I'm gonna suck it up. <laughs> <laughs> the only way to fight wall goblin is with wall goblin. Alright, that's it. I'm going in then. No, no, not a wall goblin. The wall raccoon. Cool. What is a raccoon but a <laughs> smaller goblin? But a but a but a mask masked and furry goblin. <laughs> the neighbors downstairs leave offerings. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Think we're gonna need Tailspire today? Yes, you want a Tailspire. Mostly because I just I want you to appreciate the, the incredibly amount, incredibly uh, a huge amount of large work that I put into this. Oh yeah. Yep. It is totally not cookie cutter. I don't believe you. Oh, oh dear God! Irby is grabbing tools okay. now. I see him. Yeah, with I, I, I. We, we, we've had this Why does discussion. He have a... that we've had also, this discussion before that Irby have. has a tape don't measure next to his desk. Question me. Uh, it, it, it sits right next it's to the lotion. It's not like it gets Kleenex. bigger. <laughs> it sits right. It sits right next to the lotion and the Kleenex. It's, you know, who who doesn't have a ruler or a tape measure next to their you know, their shelf that stores their Kleenex and their lunch. I don't. <laughs> no. You're married. Nobody cares. No. <laughs> you can't you can't see my hand, but it's up. I gotta move it closer towards the camera. <laughs> you don't as well, J Dub. No. <laughs> Ketchup made a one foot diameter D twenty. Nice. Oh shit. Oh, yes. Holy shit. Apparently it goes on you their head. Do you 3D print? Do you 3D print it? It or? goes on their head. It's a hat. <laughs> it's a hat. I I need one. I need I need a 3D printed D20 hat now. Does it be a slow? What episode are we on, guys? Time. No, no. 22. I don't need a hat. I need I need one that's even two? bigger, so it can go entirely over my head. You said two two. I, yes. Twenty two. Yes. Then I can be the next reincarnation of dead mouse but i can just be nat 20 it's a helmet and i and and i can just oh, I, can battle. Really, I need one now instead of having spikes on your head just have a d20 it's the same thing yeah. <laughs> i would have picked the d4 for a spike helmet shape d20 is more of a morning star
Uh, let's eliminate the bear here. Apparently it was, it was made for that purpose. To just spike his speeds. It was made for battle? Made for a cosplay that we'll be unveiling soon. Ooh. Oh! Ooh. Ooh. What, what are you unveiling it on? Ooh, woo. RN Jesus. <laughs> RN Jesus? No, that, that was me. God, I hope they say that. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> That's what Speaking I would do. Wooing, tell, tell, uh, tell, uh, Austin about the Subawoo. Oh, I already yes, knew about that Subaru. one. Subawoo? I already knew about that one. Because one of the guys the that we work with, uh, uh, the, one of the hardware managers, uh, drives a su Subaru. And that is a relatively normal joke that John makes. No, that. someone has it. No, there's there's, there's a dude the that drives around Winona with a big sticker that is Subaru on, mm -hmm. on his Yeah, John has threatened to put that on his car. <laughs> wait, wait, I forget who, which, which one of the managers has that as their vehicle? Joe. Oh shit, Joe? <laughs> I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Cause if I do it, he won't yell at me for it. Get food. Nourishment. Alright. So is everybody here ready to go? All that fun stuff. Go. Oh, Alright. And then so I'm gonna follow you say hold on. I was following oh. catch up on the street. <laughs> They've been here now. Me? <laughs> okay. I don't care. Do what you want. I just. I was gonna eat a dead in a little bit, but. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. I don't actually care. What board are we on? I will summon you to the board. Beach. When it is time. Beach. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. so. Yeah, Ko, have you returned? I've been here. Uh, you okay. muted for a while, so Sweet. I didn't look that up. Alright, so, a recap of last week. Shit happened. There Great you go. recap. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Great no, I, riveting. Mean, riveting. Right, right, and very riveting recap. Um, now you guys got your ship, and you started, the, at least the, uh, some of you, started learning Lemurian and I believe before the night is through Kubo had wished to go speak to his uh, trainees at the medical center oh we're starting we're starting okay yeah. yep. all right uh Yeah, th there wasn't anything to recap from last week, really, because the combat that was supposed to happen didn't happen, so... That's right, we uh, transported some <laughs> oil barrels. Yes. Yeah. Yes, so you, you, you have you have enough, you have about a week's worth of, uh, of fuel unless you run all out, in which case you'll burn it a little bit faster. Yeah, so you are free to do what you want to do, Kubo. Okay. Uh, I go into the tent. Um, I hope all the people are there. <laughs> they are. Okay. They're all there. <laughs> that would have been like, nope, they all went to bed. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no problem. Oh, no, they, <laughs> they, they died. You, you, you get the sense that they sort of live here. So they're they're all around. Okay. They. You don't know exactly, but you know you get the sense that they they live here, and when you come in, you know they're they've kind of pulled. They're they're at a table that's off to the side. It looks like they've just finished eating. So you you think it's probably just the four female Lemurian that live here. Uh, 
Hello. And they they kind of half nod, bow to you. Sorry, it's uh, been a while. My crew and I have been busy, but we were about and to then for the sister. One of them's the the older one that's there would say many things needing your attention, including save one from Grick. We're about to uh, head to one of your sister cities. Uh, I might be gone for a while, so I thought I'd come and deliver a final lesson. I realize that there's not much more that I could teach you. All the magic stuff that I learned, I learned from myself and my devotion. To myself and my oath. Um, there's only one more thing. As a healer, save who you can. Of course, that is should always be your top priority. But you need to know that there are some fates where where death would be preferred and it's your duty to recognize those situations and when you come across one of them you have two choices the first would be to continue healing them you are confident that you can save them and that you believe you're doing the right thing and just keep going. The other choice is to take a step back and look at it objectively and consider letting them rest live among the ancestors in peace. I came across one of these situations I chose wrong and it will haunt me for the rest of my days. That is my final lesson. It, it kind of just sit there you know, the, the, they were kind of standing and cleaning up from their meal when you had first walked in. They've all kind of sat down as, as the heaviness of this final lesson sinks into them. And, and they just kind of nod in, in a silent agreement, acceptance, and understanding all at once that while... They have now been trained to, you know, heal using the the magic um, that is exists in the world that they have once had no access to. They've now realized that just because they are now more skilled does not mean that they, you know in essence, can play God and decide for themselves who lives and who dies, and that the people themselves should also have a say. As they, they kind of realize that they, you know, they each think back on their lives to, to various people they've known, to so the ones who've had accidents that they couldn't save or been mauled by, you know, the, the jungle wildlife that they were not able to get to in time, thinking on how they, you know, they've been thinking and remembering them these past few weeks. 
now that you've taught them picking, now that I know this magic, maybe I could have saved them. And now after this lesson, they're thinking, but maybe they wouldn't have wanted to be saved. And they're, they're taking a, a almost peaceful acceptance of this fact rather than being sad of the ones they were unable to save. They are glad that they didn't know what they knew now and that they didn't have to make that choice. And you can just see this realization come across their faces as they're sitting there contemplating. They, you know, stop doing their cleaning, just sitting there looking at you now. A small tear falls down one of the cheeks of the younger Lemurians. You did this, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> I want to point out that halfway through Justin's touching, like, deep emotional speech, I got the Twitch, the uh, Discord notification that uh, Austin started streaming. Nice. So just, there are some people you can't save. Budding! <laughs> Budding! <laughs> oh, Thank you, Josh. <laughs> Fucker. Oh, Benji, Benji. Yes, Benji. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh God, God, this is awkward. Do I just well? See you later. <laughs> Can't just do that. <laughs> After a few minutes, one of them comes up to you. And reaches up because you, you're you're a little bit taller than them, and, and puts her hand on your shoulder, and then pulls you in and gives you a hug, and then lets you go, nods, and then goes back to cleaning off the table. All right. Hey, little buddy. God. Oh God. One of the, one of the other ones would say, "Good luck. Stay Thank safe. You. Good luck with you all." We nod. Now I eat out of there. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Go back to the ship. <laughs> back to the ship. All right. Anybody else have any final things they want to do this evening? You are planning on. Shipping out the next morning alongside the two homes to head for Ariel, one of the other cities of the people, and the home of the well, apparently the home of the young Lemurian. That you found in the, the cave of Raijin. Oh. Or Ry Ryujin. My bad. <laughs> Did I fly a curtain? Because realizing Lady Tail is the only female on the boat, that maybe she would want some privacy. Can you acquire a what? Curtain. Curtain. A curtain. A curtain. I suppose you could potentially see if there's anybody around at a fabric or at a shop that is, you know, selling fabrics. Sure. In Other, okay. Trading some you just thought about this, Josh? <laughs> it's 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 quite late in the evening. 
Or use a yeah. spare blanket? I don't know. Well, we could always use a spare blanket. Yeah, I mean, you, you could you could try something along those lines. It's, I want to set up a little private area because I just realized... Josh didn't think about it because I'm not used to you being a woman yet, Austin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's, uh... Uh, yep, 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 <laughs> definitely. I'm not used to you being a woman yet. <laughs> well, you know, in this day and age. Yeah. I think we all know each other well enough at this point to know that that ain't me. <laughs> no offense to anybody who is, but that ain't me. I grow a beard for a fucking reason. I look good with it. I don't look good without a beard. So, and I would really not look good with beard and tits. Oh, God. Unless you're in the circus. Even uh, then, I... unless I'm a fucking dwarf, and I mean the mythological dwarves, not the people dwarves. I'm going to stop there. <laughs> oh, you're, gonna, this, you're just digging this, yourself a deeper hole. Thank this, you. this entire train just went off track so quickly. <laughs> I blame Josh. I blame Josh. Uh, <laughs> oh. up says Eat them noodles, bitch Tetchup <laughs> has some input on this argument God. What would that be? <laughs> I don't know, man I look pretty good with a beard and tits They say <laughs> uh. I, I got I got man tits Oh Moobs. Don't worry. Oh, those are called work those moobs out. or pecs. One of the two. <laughs> They're not boobs. Look, I'm They're pecs. gonna go see if I can acquire something to offer some privacy. Alright, what, what is your first destination? Just so I know what I need to do. Or I'll not do. see if there's any tailoring shops open. Or any tailors selling anything currently. Alright, even Rodney. Even. It is even. All right. After some wandering, you are able mm -hmm. to find one shop that is still open that looks as if they have some fabric. With my lessons, I should at least be able to negotiate fabric. I will inform them that how much fabric I need to make something that I can hang up. They tells. Uh, let's see. You're not completely fluent in no. Mandarin, right? No, I am not. Roll, roll me intelligence to get your points across. You had to pull me to the string. I'll come to my yeah, board. We have to be at the screen. I, in order I to roll. roll. Come, that's right. I will come to your board. Which board are you fuckers on? Uh, the main. I don't know. Uh, the main pick a board, board you want us to be on and just summon us there. Oil, I want oil red dot. At least I am. Yeah, I think that's where most of us are. Alright. Oh! Eleven! Eleven? Okay. It's not great, but your, your jumbled mess of language usage with completely wrong syntax and piss poor grammar is able to be deciphered as, I need a big sheet. Lovely. I need Love a big to hear it. <laughs> they, they, they walk over to a shelf and grab just this big roll. And they fold it out. And it's about 10 feet long and 7 feet wide. What the heck? That should work for the dimensions of the captain's quarters, right? Just to cut off a section. Because she slept on... I know she laid down well, on the top dot. It's ten feet long and seven feet wide, so if you're hanging it up, you know, you have a ten-foot perimeter. That's not a whole lot. No, no, it's not. That's, that's like 25 square feet, roughly. That's like, that's like me with us. No. Austin's a little too tall. 
lengthwise, I'm trying to stat people in my mind to see how long 10 feet is. Me? Holding Benji above my head. Ah. While Benji is standing on his while Benji is standing on his back legs. See that something a little longer? They would go to the back and they would pull out a very coarse, rough, almost canvas material that's folded up but is very bulky mm. and they they just set it down still folded on the counter on top of the other sheet and then tap that other sheet and then point at the big large canvas type fabric and say basically the lemurian for four times Forty. Forty foot long. That, that'll that work. Ba basically, this is the material that they would make sales from. <laughs> that'll work. Okay. So. Excuse me. They, uh... They would kind of, you know, hand it, they would take it and hand it to you, and then hold their hand out. I will plop one of the smaller gems that I was given by Reddy before we left. God, which one? Uh, not, uh, that, how many of the small ones do we have? Um, how about a small emerald? A small emerald will do it. All right, so you pop a small emerald in his hand, and he his eyes open wide a little bit, look down at it, looks back at you, curls it up in his hand, and just nods at you and turns out and goes into the back room immediately. I'm starting to think that I just have enough tab paid that I can buy whatever I want anytime I go into a place in this place. <laughs> Just like at the bar. Now this place. Just show bad up at some point and be like, yeah, I need fabric. And it'll be like, yeah. <laughs> so. Well, you've noticed that while there are, you know, you've been around here long enough, there are gems and stuff that have been used and you, you've seen them about, but it's mostly on the much finer stuff. Kind of, you know, what this the kind of stuff that Nocta Mur has, or it's not really common for most people because, to your knowledge, from what you've been able to tell in your few weeks here, they don't really have anybody that goes out and, or in mines or looks for any of this stuff. Ah, uh. it, it they it's kind of one of those things where they don't. They know it's there, and they know it's nice. They just don't exactly know where it's at or how to get it. And so when they're able to get their hands on it, it's uh, quite valuable to them. Because there's no consistent external supply. That's, that's good to know. That's Basically, good to know. you are the bank. I am the bank, the rich man. I am Bezos. <laughs> no more bathroom breaks on the boat. What? <sighs> to shit your pants. <laughs> I'm not gonna shit no, the my power, pants. I'm gonna shit gone. your pants. The power's gone to his head already. It was already to his head. So that's just yep. a joke to Bezos. But... <laughs> next thing you know, there's gonna. Next thing you know, there's gonna be pterodactyls with guaranteed two-day delivery on mayonnaise. <laughs> that's a great idea, actually. How long to name one? <laughs> oh God. 
Why did you think that, that was a good idea? What did you do? <laughs> you made it canon! <laughs> I, I didn't think to use pterodactyls for delivery, but you know what you've done? Inspired have you, me. Have you seen a pterodactyl yet? You no. mentioned it, that means it exists. Not necessary. We've well, seen dragons. It it's worse. <laughs> Fine, we'll use dragon. <laughs> okay. I can subjugate anything. Oh god, yeah, you kinda can. I had sell at making minions. And that's, no, that's scary. Yeah. <laughs> that's my hidden superpower. My superpower is is uh, reverse whatever I want. <laughs> my hidden and superpower is minions. Making minion things that aren't what they should be. Yeah. I want right. peace, I get war. I want war, I get peace. Well, I guess that, okay, okay, I know we're off topic completely now, but I want to know what you think my superpower is. Oh, oh fucking... <laughs> okay. Yeah, what, what is, what is, actually, I don't want to know what you're going to say my superpower is. You, you know what yours is. You're I, Will I, Wheaton I... 2.0. <laughs> No, I, I thought you were gonna say my my power is digging dirt with shot or digging holes with shotgun shells. <laughs> I mean, with the rolls you roll, yes. So it still falls under the umbrella of your Will Wheaton 2.0. <laughs> uh, Hopefully, with the bigger it. numbers of Pathfinder, you'll hit more often. <laughs> it won't, because yeah, it's already proven the fact that hasn't. Yeah, I mean, we are only level three, but yeah. Third session in, how many natural ones out of all the fucking rolls you did? Oh, four or five? Uh, uh, yeah, four. I four, four. four. It was like it was a four yeah. out of five okay. rolls. I I, yeah. did, you, I I I apologize for getting everyone off topic. <laughs> I'm also going to now be the voice of reason to get everyone back on topic. Well, I well. wasn't listening on it. Well. Uh well. but uh I'm gonna go back and set up a little private area for Lady Tail. All right, sounds good. Yikes, my internet just took a big dip. My stream took a shit and dropped a bunch of frames. Yeah, the I best part is that Josh frames. expects me to sleep next to him. Not next. And the, not not next next, but in the same room. I don't. With did the you want the divider curtain? <laughs> With oh, the divider curtain. Do you want food? The better question right. is, did you want to be in the same room as everyone else with the divider curtain? That's the reason why she was just going to be on the top deck. <laughs> but You two point, figure that good. shit out. I'm going to go feed my cat before he rips my arm off. Yeah, baby, get what you need. So, uh, <laughs> so Lady Tell, I picked up a curtain. Where would you like it set up so you have a little bit of privacy on your side? Huh. I, I don't. I don't imagine much. Um, whichever, whichever side, really. Like, did you want it? What area of the ship did you want? Yeah. Oh, uh, I thought you were assuming the captain quarters. I was, but I'm gonna see what you say before I assume things for you. I was assuming the captain quarters. Ah. Divided in half. To be the left. You to be on the left. Okay. Because I'm always right. That was, that was out of character. The I'm always right bit was out of character. Is it out of character? Yes. It's <laughs> definitely not out of character. Fuck you. <laughs> you don't know what we're talking about. He had the headset on. Bluetooth headset. I can hear you in my kitchen. You can't hear shit, you death bitch. That was okay. Justin. That was me. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> be up here proving points. No, I did that on thank purpose. You. I did that on purpose. Uh, thank you. I did no, hear. No, I did no, hear. You're late. The evidence suggests otherwise. Ah. Anyway, so you figure your shit out. Yeah, she's sleeping on the. Oh, I thought you were listening. <laughs> I didn't know if you were done. Uh oh. Yes. <laughs> Okay. All right. So the uh, the five of you plus Silva 
Um, have spent the evening and retired at the the boat. Unless any of you have anything else you'd like to do. No, I'm good. Everyone good? You doing yeah. anything, Adam? Okay. I'm hearing nothing. You wake up the next morning. Sirens. To Sirens everywhere. Cap to Captain Ready on the deck just yelling at all of you to, you know, get the get your asses on the top deck. Aye, aye, Admiral. I get my ass on the top deck. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I slowly walk up. Is everything on fire already? I'll eventually come out of the cabin. I Since I'm not part up. of the Navy. <laughs> <laughs> Just gotta flex hey, a little he... bit. <laughs> My... <laughs> Everyone else is there, and he makes a point of waiting until you are a show up. And stares you down as you walk over to the rest of the group and says, Now that you're all here, I would like to introduce you to the rest of your crew. And he points off the edge of the boat. And you all walk over and look. And, and there's a volunteer contingent of about two dozen Lemurians armed with bows and axes. Led by none other than Chack. Yeah, yeah Chack! Woo! My man. And among them is also Sakar Foss. The Lemurian you saved from this very vessel. Oh. Oh. I will I will nod in his direction. He looks he looks directly at you. Gives a slight nod and then looks back off again at the rising sun. Oh. Hmm. We're gonna have to call this the house of the rising sun, boys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, but Josh had to be fucking lame and named the boat the Montpellier. Hey, it's an angel fucking French. <laughs> yeah, fucking French bastard. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Something seemed to have flown in the room. Yeah, it, Josh, it looks like there's a bird in your room. You might want to take care of that. Send Benji over. He'll eat it. I was going to ask if it was going to multiply. Yeah. Oh, no, it's divided. It's divided. <laughs> So, the, the, this crew uh, comes over slowly, like, you know, probably six at a time in the small boat and boards the ship. And, you know, they, they after they each, you know, come up, Jack translates and, and introduces them all. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm not going to give you all yeah. of their names. <laughs> It's not happening, so don't ask. It, honestly, <laughs> if you gave me names for all 24 of these motherfuckers, I would be impressed, scared, and worried about you. Okay, Number seven in line, what's your name? Okay, okay. The only reason that I'm not giving you names is because this is the second to last session for this season. And let's be honest. Some of these guys might be dead by next week, so. Why are we being honest? We should be dishonest. <laughs> Tell us about the rabbits. What? Of mice and men. Ah! Yeah, no. the rabbits, Georgie. No, never read it. Uh, oh, uh, it's a, it's just a famous thing. It's just a famous thing. So after Lenny accidentally kills that chick. They all do a manhunt for him, and Georgie finds him, and Georgie and him wanted to run a rabbit farm together. And Georgie, Lenny's like, tell me about the rabbits, George. And, and George, then he shoots him in the back of the, the head. Rabbit, and shoots him in the back of the head. 
told him to think about okay. the thing that he loves before he killed him because he liked he he was basically his brother. And he Okay. I can see why they did not have us read this in high school. I read yeah! this in high school. Oh, we read it in middle school. Yeah, yeah no. We we got to read the wonderful things like 1984 and yet all the people that went to my high school are still fucking socialist bastards. So <laughs> <laughs> really anyway. showing us what who, which side of the political line you lie on. Anyway. <laughs> Anywho. Uh, 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 just so really dread, all, like, all, all two dozen of the new Lemurian recruits to your vessel are, I guess, not even really recruits, volunteers. Yep. Naval volunteers. Yeah. Well, they're all volunteers. They're volunteers, that means we don't have to pay them. <laughs> no. <laughs> pay them. The reason my minion recruiting works so well is I offer benefits like help Dan Tintle that normal overlords don't. Do we have enough playing? gems for one of them each? I don't think <laughs> we have enough gems with? for one of them each. So. Uh. Cat! Good to see ya. Mr. Isaac! Hello! Hello! <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry, Benji found something, I don't know what, and he's running around and playing with it, it's kind of adorable. <laughs> um, so they all board, Captain Ready is like, alright, Isaac, we're gonna take off, you and I are going to flank the two homes um Kaji with Salisa home is going to lead and um Naraka will follow you will be on the inland or I guess for the direction you're, you'll be traveling you will be on the starboard side of the two homes Yes. while Walker will screen the port side Right. A thought just occurs. <laughs> I don't know if it's a good thought. Okay. But I have a bad feeling about something. And I don't know if I should voice it. Don't voice your opinion. Hey, what if a wheel gets stuck in a turning D position? Do you want to <laughs> drag me to DM chat and uh, voice it there? Sure. I... I I just don't okay. know, like, I, a lot of it is just could be the fact that I see red flags everywhere. Okay. Yeah, we, we, we can go have a, a private discussion real quick. Depending on what your reaction is, I may or may not bro broach the subject to ready on my own. Okay. Oh, catch up. I followed you, by the way. Can someone catch drag up. me over there? Do I look like I can do that to you? Hold on, let me move him. As if I move. Right. He's gonna get us all killed. <laughs> oh yes, for sure. <laughs> Yudani, if you're still there, thank you for the follow. You're amazing. You're breathtaking. <laughs> you're beautiful, darling! <laughs> Beautiful. Oh gosh. To be fair, I think I know what's up. Yeah. Austin and I have a working theory that the city we're going to has been taken over by the Drid because they haven't been seen on sea too much lately. Mm -hmm. So they have now a land base of operations. Is what Austin and I have been theorizing, putting together, planning out. Yeah, see, a lot of my minion recruitment comes from the benefits package. You know, we don't send you on death missions. There's no suicide missions for you. We make sure you work within the range of your power to get done what you wanted it done. 
I'm here to watch you grow as a minion to your own evil overlord one day. Not one to rival me, but one to walk beside me. <laughs> yes, Jason. Yes, Justin. Oh my god. I don't believe you. What do you mean you don't believe? I don't believe you. We have dental. Did Is your dental pulling my teeth head. out? Even no. the good one. Yes. And we use revolutionary, non-metal filler for those pesty mages that think they can torture you with heat metal in your mouth. <laughs> no, you see, that's just being smart. <laughs> this is, uh... I just did sell it recruiting people. I'm not actually apologizing for that. Amassing armies is very entertaining for me. Oh, does that mean your character is going to be Constantine's HR representative? Oh, no, that guy is just going to exist to fight the strong. If anyone weak is around... Well... That's why he'll fight Constantine. Not to kill him, because they probably can. But because Constantine will offer a fun, entertaining challenge in the uh, aspect of murdering him. Yeah. I'm just waiting for Austin to betray Constantine. I'm excited for it. Yeah. Stop talking about a game we haven't started. Yet. You know what? <laughs> You're giving it's away too much, Irby. Starting. <laughs> nah, you got. At least two more sessions. I know. Calm yourself. Sorry, you have at least three, because the first session zero is just gonna be us Correct. going over shit and me forcing you guys to make a fucking backstory. Because I'm not gonna wait three weeks for you guys to figure out your fucking shit. <laughs> I'm gonna force you. You're gonna write. You're gonna give it to me, and then you can leave. This is how this works. <laughs> Noted. That's a long conversation that they're having. Don't worry, we have each other to keep company. I'm trying to take the uh, more pictures for the evil a draw company. <laughs> I've, uh, in the Starfinder tab, I've started laying out possible jobs you can take on. Oh gosh. <laughs> and so far, my. May you can you can think a couple of these jobs because I played a little bit of too much Deep Lock Galactic recently. <laughs> um, so, drill for liquids, drill for minerals, excavate artifacts, guard caravan, guard VIP, kill target, destroy mech, destroy land, which is a group of mechs, uh, rescue team, and so far my favorite one I've come up with, hot drop. Drop into an active battlefield. Oh. That'll be fun. Hey, Jacob. Yeah. You're familiar with Titanfall too, right? I fucking love Titanfall. Oh, nice Titanfall Josh, of that. course I'm familiar with Titanfall too. You lent it to me. I, I realize. Uh. You, you know the uh, unarmed met the unarmed Titanfall met fighting you to do. Uh yes. You jump up and you take the battery. Did I hijack a met like that? <laughs> I have to look. I believe there are rules for that. There are rules for met hijacking. <laughs> I'm pretty positive there are rules for that. And I can check because I have the book next to me. Baby, okay. someone watch please. <laughs> uh, 90%. Oh! I'm pausing myself. Let's go back. We return. Are we all gonna die? <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. There are some ways to die. So many dumb ways to die. 
but yes, absolutely. All right. You're all, you're all gonna die. I will be the only survivor. Yeah, I mean everyone dies eventually, except for the vampires. Ah, oh, thank God I can go to take a nap. <laughs> the dirt nap. A dirt nap with the fishes. Fish don't have dirt. I, I like whoever's mom. microphone is just absolutely crack a lackle. Oh, catch up, Mr. Guy. Crack a lackin'. Sorry, what? Mr. Two. Ah. Oh, is that Irby? Catch, catch up, Mr. Guy. Catch up with the of my evil eight dog pitches. That's probably why he missed us. I'm sorry that you had to listen to that. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I subjected you to that. J Dub, uh, Dustin, I mean, Justin was laughing his fucking ass off at it. Because uh, Justin is a wet paper armor. towel. <laughs> sorry, Justin. Excuse me? Ah! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Not that I can doing... do anything about it, but. Because <laughs> I'm a wet so... paper towel. <laughs> Ketchup is she, her, by the way. What's up? Ketchup, does, ketchup is a she, her. Oh. Oh. I, I apologize if I didn't do that correctly. I don't remember. I, I think we but we all assumed that ketchup was a him. Yeah. <laughs> My bad. Didn't you know everyone, everyone on the internet is a woman? <laughs> or a man. I, I fucked up my own fucking joke. <laughs> I oh that, my man. god. So this this is a really bad aside. So oh god. One, one, one of my friends from high school sent me a screenshot of a Facebook page that was suggested for him yesterday. Okay. And it was it was called Flirt Night. What for and like it's Fortnite? For, it's it's a dating it's a dating it's Facebook dating page for Fortnite players. And he's like, there is no way that this group is not 100% men. <laughs> Have him join and find out. Yeah. Well, he, he's Pussy. in a relationship. He told me oh. to join and let him know. What are you waiting for? Wait, why for? is he curious? Help a brother out. I, I if, he's he in just... a kid, if he's in a relationship, <laughs> why is he curious? I think he just wants to know if he's right about it being called men. And pay for someone to do it. Go a fucking fiver. <laughs> oh. oh, but yeah. That, that's a funny joke, Ketchup, actually. That's an what? amazing <laughs> joke. Dad. What? They have to. She, uh, she says, she, her, unless you want them, unless you want a test, then it's her, she. <laughs> Fair enough. Dad. <laughs> Play some words of fun. Oh. Yeah, I, I could. I, 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 I'm not gonna say where I was gonna go with that because it's just nasty. <laughs> Probably for the best. <laughs> uh. Anyway, so back to D and D before I uh. get myself banned. <laughs> um, credit score minus fifty. <laughs> I hope that I just oh, no, I just no sorry no 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 Apple's... sorry I fucked up the joke oh, social credit score, score. Yeah. Oh, no social, social credit. credit score okay <laughs> yeah that's all right my social credit score is already zero you know credit score <laughs> are just house points for non Harry Potter fans let us continue now uh, <laughs> I've moved after everyone after all the crew has settled it onto the ship um. <laughs> They've been given basic direction on, you know, who's going to do what, um, you know, and Captain Reddy pulls you aside, Isaac, and kind of lets you know that, you know, th this group has been assigned to handle all the, the rigging and raising and lowering the sails, all that kind of stuff. This group right. has been assigned to, to cycle through for lookout and stuff like that. Um... Those people are the ones under Adam. You know, there, there's another group that's been uh, given the task of using, you know, or, or keeping the ship clean, basically, 
Um, ah, the maid service. Or should we say butlers? And, and then he introduces the two that have been brought aboard as chefs. Ooh. Yes! Oh, we yes. have co- Food. You have you have two cooks. Hey man, if, if, no, it's, if it's at this time, they are classically are the, shit trained. Neither of them are the chef that Silva dumped a boiling hot pot of stew on. I'm okay. not surprised. You know what? If they were, power. I'd be, I'd be impressed. <laughs> but that also either. means that Silva would have to watch his food because it's more likely poisoned. Or oh, he'll yeah. just randomly have a knife in his back. Or with God's blood sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Only a couple people understand that reference. You know what? I don't care. I'll make obscure references. That up understands it. And then <laughs> they were there. The I meant that the of... DM here doesn't know about it. Yeah. The rest of them continue. The rest of them are just bodies, soldiers, you know. Boarding, use them as a, use them as a boarding <laughs> party if you ever need to, kind of people, so that you don't have to sacrifice your people that know how to do, handle all the rigging and stuff like that. I always love it when the DM's like, "Here's the NPCs you can sacrifice." That's my oh, favorite no. kind of NPCs. No, Chak leads this group. We can that does not yeah. fill me with confidence. <laughs> fills me with confidence. He's filled with the uh, ability to be mind controlled by dragons. Yeah, mind controlled, <laughs> and willing to turn on the party on a second's notice. Only because Silva fucked his sister out of pettiness and continues to do so with other women involved. <laughs> with her, apparent. I hate the fact that that's in the book series that you've taken this from. I hate it. I hate the fact that that's a, that's a thing. Like, oh yeah, this character just fucking fucks a Lemurian, and then also does it with a with with the nurse with the wife. So Three way bestiality. Well, thank you, Ketchup. I'm glad you think we're great. <laughs> That, the uh, jury's usually out on that one. Yeah, I think uh, it's probably going to be further out now with that <laughs> comment. <laughs> I think Silva's wonderful. Yeah. You know, I, <laughs> no, me, me as a me as a person is like, yeah, this is fucking hilarious. Like, I, it, it, thinking about it in character, like that's that's fucking weird, man. <laughs> Silva's just a common World War Two furry. Yeah, he he likes he likes. Uh, likes a little bit of bush on the hedge. Sil Silva's been trapped on a boat with only men for a while. And the sad part is he's the only man who's gotten any, and more than most. <laughs> Silva was like, you know what? Fur's okay. Don't give me that look. Oh, right, right. Besi right. Besides ready. That's right. We forgot about ready. Oh no, Reddy hasn't been laid. Silva, Silva. Bullshit! Silva's the only one. You going. even I mentioned it the other week. You confirmed it! Yeah! They're like, what do you know? What do you know? And then, like. What do you mean, meeting in a private room? What? <laughs> Their little side what? glance to each other? Yeah. Yeah, it does, Dustin. That doesn't, mean, that doesn't mean that they got laid. Reddy has cancer. What they do then? Ready has just cancer. cuddle. Ready has cancer. Are they just dining by candlelight? Is that why no one else can know the fact that they've been seeing each other in private more often than not? I want you to think about something here. I, you know, as crew members, if you, well, Kubo, you're married, so, but you know, how do you think the rest of the crew would handle it if? Uh, the captain took one of the only three women that they knew of from the world. Again, abusing power, number one. Number two, not fair. And number three... <laughs> so, <laughs> so think about... So, so you know... But again, that's the fucking... <laughs> the neighbors probably hate me. 
Jacob just hangs his fucking <laughs> headset up. He's done. Thank God your Discord is like, nope, that's too loud. <laughs> oh, did it cut out? Yes. Yes. Okay. Josh heard it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did. No. It's come, okay. back for come back for season two and you'll know what I'm talking about. Ah! Oh my God. The only what other acceptable answer is the fact that he that she's his sister. And then that just makes it weird. Uh, Wait, they're playing that board games. No, well, I said Captain... then they're just playing board games. I don't know, man. Captain Matthew Reddy and Lieutenant Sandra Tucker, so... They could be cousins. Oh, God. Uh, he is... I, I, I walk to the Let's bottom. get away oh. from this conversation, Reddy, guys. Reddy is from Texas, not Alabama. <laughs> All right. Oh, I walk to the there. bottom of the boat, bam, bam, take bam. the big fucking gun, and I put three holes in the bottom of the ship. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are we doing? So okay. I, Isaac, Red, Reddy pulls you off to the side yeah. <laughs> and says, I hope you appreciate uh, what I've done for you here. I, I do. With, <laughs> oh no, not the people. You had plenty of volunteers. In fact, there were many we had to turn away. One of which was uh, Silva's Sil supposed wife? wife. Yeah. I figured we didn't necessarily need that distraction. So, uh, you're welcome. Ready? Words cannot say how happy I am you turned her away. <laughs> I do not want to know what chat would have done. <laughs> Let alone when he much... walked into the hold. <laughs> Let alone how much sleep everyone on the ship would get if his wife was that close to him. <laughs> uh, or how many other people that would be requested to join in? I mean, there, there, there is a, there is a right mix, now. there is a mix of male and female Lemurians that are aboard now. My point stands. So, yeah, I, and, I was confirming your suspicions. And, and all honesty, I was just meaning maybe the wife wants to have a guy come and join. No, it's it could be either. So yeah, ready. Okay, I'm just, I'm really. Really glad you turned her down. I probably would have done. I would have done the same. Well, you took him off my hands. I figured I could be at least a little bit nice. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> he likes our group much. We always seem to drive him into very dangerous situations. Oh, I was talking about Silva. Oh, I was talking about Silva. Have you seen the face he makes when I walk up to him? I mean, it's excited, isn't it? You're the only one that's been getting them off the ship the last two weeks. Ah, <laughs> uh, raising. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah, usually, did it off the ship. Thank you. <laughs> usually, did it off the ship with us. Uh, leads to him getting. Some situations almost killed. <laughs> but, well, let's try to uh, keep that to a minimum. I do. Hopefully, try. we won't run into any uh, issues with the gray. Speaking of which, I have one last gift for you. The cannon. He calls over to the side, motions for somebody to come up the ladder, and Ben Mallory comes up the ladder, holding the radio from the plane. Oh my god, you brought the radio! Heck yeah. Hooked, Hooked up to a <laughs> small battery. And he, he, says, he hands it to you and says, Now, that battery is not going to last long. So, unless you need to get in contact with Walker, I, I suggest you leave the connections well, disconnected. Alright. But, I mean... If you have problems, at, at least you can call things out to each other. Um, 
there's always, you know, Morse code and whatnot with lanterns if necessary too, but we figured this would be a little bit easier for the time being, seeing as, uh, well, he, uh, he looks back towards the, the PBY just floating on the, the dock over by the shit hut, and he's like, the old girl isn't quite airworthy yet. And, well, figure it's, it's better used with you. So, I just, I just, I want it back. And when, uh, I want it back. Don't, don't go losing it. Don't go letting them damn grick bastards putting it to the bottom of the ocean with you. All right. <laughs> Red Hill is a very good thing to have. <laughs> Indeed. Is it a cannon? And that's the radio. Also helpful. Not quite what I was <laughs> expecting, but also helpful. Surprised to be sure, but a welcome one. <laughs> so, with that, Captain Reddy and uh, Lieutenant Mallory both hop back over the edge, down into the waiting boat, sail the back over to Walker. And, you know, you, you spend a few minutes getting acquainted with the rest of the crew. You, you show them on a little bit of a tour down to the, the second level where, you know, the, the rest of the party is kind of laid out cots and stuff. And they, they've all brought along bed rolls of a sort. Um, it's like a almost dried grass stuffed with yeah. inside a... a Durable yet surprisingly soft fabric. Um, very light and holds up pretty nicely. They all just kind of set their stuff down and grab their little bedroll. They roll it out, claiming various spots. Um, yeah, and then before too long, you know, you see a little bit of smoke start coming from both of Walker's main forward funnels as the number one and two boilers light up. Alright. And she starts moving forward followed by Salisa home and then followed by Naraka and you guys bring up the rear once you leave the bay. You uh, fall into position, and um, you know you, you're at the helm, and you give them the proper signals, yada yada, to slow yourself down. You know, partial partial sail, so that you're just keeping pace with the homes. You can see now that uh, Walker is cut back down to a single boiler. Now that they have gotten clear of the bay and don't need quite as much maneuverability or speed. And they're just kind of basically coasting Ooh. with ever so little bit of power. Once, uh, once we on did the other side. Locally, I would like to stall Wolfhard up and show our communications officer how to use the radio. <laughs> Probably yeah, you, you, you've you been going for a little bit. Um, you passing off piloting to somebody, I'm assuming? Yes. Nameless Numerian number 18 on the wheel. Alright. Nameless Numerian number 18 comes and grabs the wheel. It's, you know, it's not exactly the same. It's, it's obviously much larger than their fishing boats and much smaller than their homes but they've been kind of watching you handle it as you've been going for about an hour at this point just to make everything settled in and they 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 grasp the concept enough to keep you going relatively straight not crash into the homes to your left or 
the island. I would give any pointers. To your right. I would give any pointers to to the person taking over, uh, if there's any uh, major issues. Like, like, oh no, not like that, like that. Yeah, there you go. Stuff like that. Is it oh, yeah, you know definition how to of major issues? <laughs> Is it whose definition? Uh, Kale's definition. I don't know. Medell. With, with a twenty-six severity, they pilot it just fine. Nice. All right. And I'll I'll drive Wolf Hot. And I'll be like, this is a radio. The battery isn't connected right now because it won't last long. If we did in a situation where you need to communicate with the other ship, you connect the battery, you hit this button, and you talk into it, and you tell them what's happening. As a communications officer, I felt it's important for you to know this, Wolfheart. <laughs> Man of few words. Just like the old one. Oh no! <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Ow. oh! 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 Wow! Oh! Hey, he, someone just murdered Kirby. <laughs> that wasn't even. That no, wasn't no, even towards Kirby. That, that was just towards Kirby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! All right. All right. Uh -huh. oh. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> I've come to talk with you again. <laughs> I don't think you were ready for that. But, all right. So he 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 understands. Wolfhart picks up how to use the radio screen. I'm proud of you. Um, do you go back to piloting the ship? I mean, if nothing else requires my attention, then yes. <laughs> Alright. Go ahead and make me a sailing check. Remember, you are proficient in water vehicles. Yes. What modifier do I add for this? Um, probably... Does it matter with that I think 18? De de I think dex would make the most sense, in all honesty, but no, with that wisdom? 18, it does not matter. Yeah, maybe wisdom. Wisdom, yeah, because wisdom is survival, right? My, my debts is higher than my wisdom. <laughs> yeah, so so use wisdom. Use wisdom. All right. That is... I have to math real quick for one plus... Oh, that's a plus four. 22! Yeah, you're, you're doing just fine. You do not crash today, and you do not run into any... Uh... Unwanted uh, visitors. And I do the Mickey Mouse whistle while we, <laughs> while we sell the old-fashioned steamboat Mickey Mouse whistle. You may roll performance to attempt to do the Mickey Mouse whistle. That is such a funny joke, Josh, and you don't even know why. Why? Because his name back then was Steamboat Willie. Yeah, I know. That's a and three. I can't do the steamboat. Justin understands why, I'm, why that's funny. I do. Because he was racist? No, Dustin. Oh. Yeah. Dustin. Cause I'm gonna men I'm just gonna message you. Okay. Oh, was right. a part of this. We're all gonna die. I doubt a three. I mean, I know I think I know where you're going with this. Yeah, okay, that that is where you're going with that, okay. Oh, Thank you. I are the Grick piloting steamboat shit. <laughs> My, you've my never seen you. Boat. You have never seen the Grick piloting steamboats. Hmm. I I know. You know, the upside of me being on this vessel means if they start burning wood in those boilers on uh Mahan. No water. Mahan's the other one. Why would I think that? If they start burning wood in water's boilers. I don't have to be the one to clean it anymore. Correct. Thanks, Kobo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the All way, right, this so... is, I believe, how the whistle should go. <laughs> you know what that is? <laughs> Kava. That's... I, one of the Lemurians nearby looks at you as you start <laughs> making these almost high, like, basically high-pitched choking noises. Uh, that's... <laughs> But that's an eight, so. Do, do you need assistance? Oh, fuck. 
<laughs> Kubo's trying no, to... Actually, actually, no, I have a better, I have a better one. Mr. Kubo, <laughs> shut your howling screamer. <laughs> Howling Screamer, that is an I accurate description of that sound. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know I was a bard. <laughs> Your words seem to cut like a knife. Very impressive. <laughs> I didn't know I was that well, good. I guess the uh, different uh, air pressures and oceans kind of... <laughs> Just staring at you, deadpan. <laughs> Hey, right. Lady Tell, did you, you know, know there was a farm around here? Because he found a lot of bullshit. I, I agree with you, Mr. <laughs> Isaac. <sighs> Walk back on the walker. <laughs> I've been off it for 20 minutes. <laughs> I don't really want nothing to do with this. <laughs> oh, what part? Is this water or land? Is this... Probably the setting, if not the best option. I don't believe you. I mean, he could always he could always go back to Salisa home. He could go in the water. Well, it'd probably be better than listening to this. What are you talking about? This is always entertaining. We always entertain you. But, all right. So during the day, as you're traveling. Uh, is anybody else doing anything uh, other than failing miserably at whistling? I'll just give you keeping an eye out. Where's Brad? Put I'll I'll give an attempt at whistling. Sure. Is Bradford on the walker? Is Brad Brad, on walker? Bradford is on walker. Okay. <laughs> oh, do a little bit better than us. <laughs> what is he but doing? Your his notes are with you. He he left you take his notes. Okay. Uh, I guess I will attempt to learn from that and then use the natural one from last session. <sighs> okay. Uh, all right. One more person tries to whistle, I will sink this ship. Sink this <laughs> ship. Sink this ship. Everyone together now. <laughs> I'm not all right. <laughs> Everyone all together. I'm not, uh, I'm not familiar with that chi shanty. Is it one of your people's full thought? <laughs> it will be after this. <laughs> what That's do you as, damn sure. Uh, how many of you are familiar with Leave Her Johnny? As as Silva, <laughs> you know, starts hearing Wolfheart with his um melodious voice, and he decides to join in and with just uh Soon may the Wellerman come to bring <laughs> Good job. Good tea and rum. Yeah. Uh, anyone know any sea shanties? And, and then he, and after he says tea and rum, he kind of trails off and looks at Kale and says, maybe not tea. <laughs> ah, sweet tea. Mm. Just like the way my mother might. <laughs> Just, just the, I, I to mention a sweet tea, just the actual physical shudder coming from Kale. <laughs> See, that is why I used my alchemy jug to make tea before we needed it for mayonnaise to fund our adventures. Okay. I don't Great think Kale Arizona even knows what mayonnaise is. I'm not sure Kale knows what mayonnaise is. That's a condiment that's... That, that's been around for a while. God. Hold on, it's at least it? been... I. I, I know that mayonnaise was at least made in like the 1800s. Mayonnaise was invented in 1756. Oh, uh, 56. But you left in the 16s. You don't know what mayonnaise yep. is. Yeah, I don't know what mayonnaise, mayonnaise is. is. What if they have made mayonnaise in the new British Isles? Um. <laughs> Severity. <laughs> e even or odd. Oh. <laughs> I ah. always go odd. Yes, mayonnaise was invented in the New British Isles. What do they call it? Mayonnaise. Um, well, the, it's, it's called mayonnaise by the French. Um, so and we're it, not French. It, it would be called egg cream. What is mayonnaise? Uh, usually aid and oil. That, does that confirmation... 
Ah! Big cream. <laughs> yes, aid cream, as you put it. <laughs> they had not invented it, and I uh, had an to be judged to produce it, so we were selling it. Oh, God, I missed oh, the perfect chance oh, to call it cream the... of egg soup. God damn it. <laughs> Fuck oh. off, Dustin. Oh. I know where you oh. live. This is a threat. I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like someone called it cream of aid soup for a moment, like a higher power. Would you like to hunt a god today? Would you like... Might as well. We're killing another god. Another? Oh, we You're killed my ride the Right, the dragon. Who claimed to be I don't god. really I don't really think beings that call themselves a god really deserve the title. Negotiations kind of broke down, but it's okay. <laughs> but yeah, we've been using it. I taught them how to make sandwiches as well. The Doofus sandwich was a close personal friend of yours. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, static mic. Alright, so no, nobody else doing anything today? I mean, when no. it's like I said, I'm world, probably just gonna... I'd like to try to learn Lemurian from Warthog. <laughs> okay, you, you can you can assign, you know, somebody to take over for you and... The same guy hey. who did last time? Yeah. Lady Tell? Whichever one of you would prefer? But I'm, I'm watching the Horizon, since I have very keen vision. That's good. So... The guy who did it before, who didn't crash the ship. Alright. He rolled a three, didn't he? He rolled a nineteen, you're fine. Oh god, I love him. What's that, that, that's without his modifiers, so yeah, you're fine. Would you like to I'm choking a bit on my own spit. Would you like to help you us? Do that, don't help me. Uh, sure, why not? Yeah. We were working with Bradford closely last time, but uh, as you can tell, Bradford is not on this vessel. <laughs> really? I couldn't have guessed. The so, good doctor can't sleep on a wooden floor. I feel like, uh... Oh, we didn't get shit yet either! Fuck, and you didn't want to volunteer to work with us. I'm sorry, I just realized he's not here. Shinny is not there. He's working on a special project with Eddie, but... It was an intelligence Oh, won't you be surprised. It was yes. an intelligence check, right? Don't yes, it's intelligence. Uh, that's a... Uh, seven. Alright, so add seven to your total. Uh, and whatever you're at. Uh, assist. Yo. What's with the threes Why? today? I don't know, man. Awesome. I'm up to 60 sets. Alright, well, you're a little over a third of the way there. Oh, wait, no. Sorry. I did bad math. Not 60 sets. Uh, 89. Even better? 69. Yeah, I was at 89. Alright, All right, so you're a little over halfway there. Oh no, so I got seven and he got five. So 96 plus five. 101 is what this number is. You're above me already, Josh. And you're two thirds of the way up. That's because he rolled a nat 20, didn't he? That was Austin. Yeah. Oh, that was Austin. Yeah. I started with plus 40, <laughs> but my minus two intelligence is the death of me. God. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Wolfhawk. Your lessons are invaluable. It would just help if you were smarter. I wasn't being sarcastic, I was actually being nice! Instead of putting a grasp on the language, like, I feel like I'm two thirds of the way to knowing how to speak it. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, hint, hint. Hint, hint. That was oddly specific. 
Bindi is very intrigued by the max rocks that are going click, click, click. <laughs> yeah. I, I did my thing. Alright. Anybody else? Anything for today? Guess do you need a perception for me or is that risk redundant? Ah, uh, redundant. Cap it, Captain. All right, hearing nothing else, you go to sleep. Second crew takes over. You wake up in the morning. Maybe it is day two. two. Whoa! Of six? Uh, of approximately six, yes. Uh, I'd like to talk to Lady Kale. I'd be up on the top deck. Mind if I join you for a sec? By all means. I was just curious, given your, given your experience, I was <clears throat> wondering if you'd had any encounter or knowledge of Justin? Do you have any knowledge of the Fae? Um, nothing outside of, you know, the fantasies and stuff that you would have been told as a child, you know, with gremlins and ogres and trolls and stuff like that that, you know, kidnapped and eat small children that don't, you know, listen to their parents. Like, do you mean like the fairy tales? Yeah, something like that. Well, it's been a long time since I've been a child, so I probably say no, not really. Well, Why? Anything specific? I don't know how to say it. Titania? 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 Titania. It's Titania, you fuck! Titania? Yeah. Queen of the fairies. Yeah. I, was, I was correcting Dustin that time, because you said it right, Justin. Uh, anything <laughs> about Titania? Queen of the mm. well, well, I know roll, anything a specific. Roll, roll a history check to see if you have heard anything. Yeah, no, you don't know shit. No, no, wait, let's see my plus. Please say it's a minus three. <laughs> plus one. Yeah, you don't know shit. The hey, name Benji. does not ring a bell. Little buddy. I wonder how long I can make a dice balance on Benji said. Probably not long before he tries to eat it. <laughs> he won't even let me get it on his head. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, dear. I used to have different powers. Um, Gotta raise an eyebrow. Uh, I used to be a healer. Uh, but something happened with uh, an old crew member. And I lost him. And I gained the favor of this Titania. Hmm. Know more about her. Unfortunately not. 
Though I will say, usually those who gay uh, that garner favors uh, by giving out powers are not exactly beings to wholeheartedly trust. Well, she said she would, uh, if I had called, or when she called, I would answer. She might be able to help us get home. So I said yes. Which is very noble if she intends to keep her word. Though, then again, from what little I do remember of fairy tales, I, they were supposed to be rather trustworthy. Something about not being able to tell lies. But usually that got people into more trouble because of that fact. That they do not tell lies. Which is admirable. Uh, how do I... How do I put this without... Uh, do I... Fuck. Uh, well... Nice talking to you. <laughs> Quite. Justin can't social. Uh, hey, Isaac. <laughs> yes, Kubo. No need to scream. I am right yep. here at the wheel. <laughs> Given the fact that we were standing like two feet away from the wheel. And you're like, hey, Isaac. It's just right next to him. <laughs> no need to scream, Kubo. Uh, right here. Right here. In your, uh, in your experience. Hold on, let me roll a history check about Titania <laughs> real quick. <laughs> hey, roll it at advantage, because you're fuck all old. I'm the same age as him! I thought you were like 300 and he's like 3,000. No! Mm -hmm. Oh. Did you well, forget the fact of my backstory? <laughs> That's a 20 cents. The reason I'm, I'm a vampire I'm... is because of his grandfather. Because of his grandfather. I thought that was re His grandfather's still alive. I, I yeah. guess I thought it was a recent thing. Because he's oh. a vampire. That's a, that's a 20 cents. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 know, you know stories and such of the Fae. I've heard uh, many a tale of Titania. asked me earlier of uh, where I got my powers from. Yes. I think it was her. Oh. I don't like that, Dustin. <laughs> what don't you like? <laughs> Is it the Forgotten Realms, Titania, or just like Mythotor Titania? Or dressed in Titania? Uh, it's like Dresden to Tanya. Oh, cool beans. Awesome. I'll just pull up the Dresden file, Witty. <laughs> am I here at all? Why do I feel like I'm going to be attacked now? Uh, it's silent, that's why. I, I honestly, I just wanted to put you guys on the boat. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't, yeah, put, put music! Put music! Put music! I need to put all you fuckers on the boat first. Okay. So. Music more important. Makes me feel less deaf. Musica. God. Boop. Music, music. Oh my god, Six is that just nine. an archery training thing as the wheel? <laughs> That's <Yes>. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't notice that the first no, time? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's yeah, another lot to show on... Uh... Well, Titania seems like a decent choice to take powers from. She said she might be able to help us get back home. 
Oh. Might. Um, That's the only lead we have, so I took it. That is, <clears throat> as Lady Tell put it, very admirable. Yeah. I already told Reddy of that. Thank you, Tubo. Got to tell the new captain. What was that? Got to tell the oh, new yeah. captain. Ah. That's appreciated. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. The calm before the storm. <laughs> <laughs> you have a family waiting back home, don't you? I do. son named Isaac. Oh. I did not name him after you. <laughs> I certainly <laughs> hope you didn't know me at the time. Just happenstance. <laughs> God. To be honest, I don't know if I want to go back. Really? Yes. Yeah, my name carries no weight, no burden, no shadow. There's no Ron attached to it. Except for Lady K, of course, but she resides from our world. Our time. Yeah. I mean you live in someone's shadow and a way out is finally offered. It's a tempting offer. Hmm. I haven't addressed these concerns with the ready yet. Yeah. I didn't think about staying when Hound was with us because, well, everyone needs a friend on the boat. But... Yeah. Certain circumstances have changed. point home has been here in all honesty we've made a good life with the deck of cards we had here whether or not it's a good decision that's really up for no one's decision but myself and the many many people depending on the governor. So, I don't know if there'd be many people who'd want to go back. Especially the fact that they've given up hope. Most of them. Or the majority of them. Three generations have passed. And this is the only home they've ever known. Not more than three generations. Right. I am thinking of like three yeah. centuries. Yeah, three with centuries. your technology is how many generations problem. is that? It's 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 probably close to ten. And it, go ahead. I'll, I'll rephrase then say ten instead of three. Damn. Ten whole generations. And I've seen and helped raise. R raise all of them. You're just a constant uh, force in my life. Interesting. Well, elves are long lived, as you <laughs> all say. <laughs> Knowing look between the two of you. <laughs> that, that's what the chuckle was for. Yeah.
breeze is nice. You can hold up downstairs and walk her all the time if it gets to you. I know a similar feeling. <laughs> No need to fix anything here. Well, you are the captain. I'm sure that would change. No, I yep. meant... I meant, like... <laughs> on a boat with more mechanical capabilities, the likelihood of something breaking is significantly higher than this simple boat. Well, like, the only thing well, you gotta worry said, about you've, is... You've, you've tempted fate. Yeah. <laughs> and we just put that one in. <laughs> Why is all my space What are the chances in? that it breaks again? God damn it all. Adam! 100. <laughs> that was just blast. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. 82. Oh, no. What did you do? A line snaps and the sail falls and you keel to the left side. Josh, I need a sailing Correct check. Correct information. Correct Like, information. actually? I need a sailing check. God damn it! That is a dirty 20. You invoke the wrath of God. I blame Cole. Cole was the last one to say something. It's Cole's fault. But the reason why it rolled was because of Justin. I blame Justin. What? Blame them both. Blame them both. That's the uh, I didn't bring up anything about failing. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so you are able to, as the boat jerks, starts jerking to the left towards the home, you're able to pull it back and stabilize it going straight as some of the Lemurian crew members scramble up the mast with a new rope and tie it off where it needs to be to replace the one that just snapped. You're back to sailing against normal. <laughs> Why? Oh. Why? ropes. Oh. <laughs> You know, this time the mask didn't fall on me. What you have tempted fate. Hey. <laughs> Neither time it fell on you. You're right. The mask you hasn't want me to, fallen. You want me to... <laughs> no, no. It... You're right. The mask hasn't fallen on me. I just had to worry about the boat coming at me <laughs> and falling on you. It feels good. Yeah. I like the clothes uh, that we have. The Lemarians have been good to us. Jack. It's the only one I know by name. Almost like the rest of them don't have them. <laughs> the, the, the last bit was a jab at the fact that we... <laughs> that was a jab. Nah. <laughs> I do like the crew we have. They seem to be very efficient. Jim is gesturing towards the broken rope. Yeah. But there are some familiar faces around. Kubo. Wolfheart. Adam. Lady Tell. Chat. Silva. By the way, did you know Silva's wife volunteered to be on the boat? Of course she did. <laughs> Reddy told her no. Reddy did us a favor. Oh, bless him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he gave me two bits of good news. One that and the set that we have a radio. Alright. Wonder what kind of mischief Silva and his wife would have gone on. <laughs> Pregnancy. That's the mischief. <laughs> oh god. Um, if it hasn't already, it's not gonna. <laughs> if that even is even possible, it shouldn't be possible, but... I mean, I don't think it's impossible. Do, do elves mate with humans? Fuck. I think, I think that Elias oh, didn't mate with a Tabati. 
a, a, a can you imagine just like the Wyatt Lemuria, six foot tall Lemuria? <laughs> just it's just gonna be the new f w fucking one. <laughs> My father is Silva, the American. Me, oh that dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> And before that is the big bad. <laughs> Silva's the baby EG. Oh god. He's too dumb. No, no Silva's kid is the baby EG. Oh, no, no. he does. Like he got the wife's intelligence. Darth, Darth Silva. That's what's gonna be. Counterpoint, he's just an idiot. You're reading too much into it. <laughs> Oh, Jacob's bad. Hi, Jacob! I heard all of it. I know. Bottom... <laughs> I'm, I'm just disappointed is all I'm going to say. And who? <laughs> and who? Yeah. Who are you disappointed in? Me? Yeah. Them? Yeah. Jacob, oh, just be happy. All this stupidity is happening in my campaign, so they, it doesn't happen. Oh, so, it'll be, so it'll be just as worse when the setting is space instead of fucking... <laughs> One airlock goes way, and you're dead. <laughs> by the way, Jacob, I, I'm still trying to help convince Cam to join. Join Starfinder? If he joins, great. If he doesn't, oh well. So. But yes, join Starfinder. I, uh... Ah. Yeah, it does feel good to be piloting. To be captain of my own crew. My own ship. Most stable rot here if you guys end up dumb bat and I stay. Well, I guess that'll be your choice. Good, but do me a favor and don't bring this up to ready. I will. Not. I, I, will. <laughs> I will not bring it up with ready. <laughs> Just do, do me a favor and don't bring this up to ready. I will. Well, I guess we have to throw him overboard. No, that's <laughs> Lady not... Lady Cow, did you Kubo from I the deck? I will keep your promise. <laughs> I will not tell him. Fuck. Thank you, Kubo. I, I knew what you meant. I was just, uh, you leave him? I was just, you know, pulling your leg a bit. You ain't in your chain. Oh, God. Don't say it. Ugh. Don't say what, Toba. Uh, no, this is a Justin thing. Say it, Justin. Don't. Do oh, late. Oh, you admitted no! you thought it. Is, it. is it saying the fact that you want Lady Kill to, to yank Kubo's chain? No, you want Isaac <laughs> to yank Kubo's chain. You like the feel of cold metal hands around your talk? <laughs> and he's broken. I have yet again broken another man. Again. Uh, oh yeah, I broke J up earlier today. Right. <laughs> oh god. Um. All right. Uh. Same thing. Later on in the day, I would go try to learn Lemurian from Wolfheart. Yeah, I will join him. All right. Everyone that's learning Lemurian. We're teaching. Roll your. I mean, I'll probably eggs. follow Josh this time. That's it. Right. Oh my god, I rolled an 8 as well. Mm. Uh, and Wolfheart, if you are teaching, I believe in you. I don't know where my dice is going. <laughs> yes. There it is. It wasn't. It wasn't... What? What is this? Uh, fucking. Intelligence. Man. Intelligence. Intelligence. Seventeen. All right. So add yours plus Jacob's to your scores. What did Jacob get? A ten. A ten. Yeah. Ten. Yeah. And I need to get a hundred and fifty. Yep. At a hundred and fifty, you are fluent in Lemurian. I am past eleven fifty. You are fluent in Lemurian. Congratulations. I'm still at one oh eight. <laughs> oh, Kubo. I'm, I'm gonna have to start speaking in Japanese now, so people don't understand what I'm saying. 
until I'm you realize one that one. people can speak Japanese too. Yeah. I'll switch it, I'll switch it again. <laughs> I only know seven fucking languages. I'm you're, bound well, to be one you don't know. You're aware that we know Japanese because you heard me screaming rats at the Dryden. Wolf Oh yeah, that's right. German then, I'm pretty sure I know that one. I know that one as well. Fuck. Alright, let's French. see. Yeah, slash Italian, don't you? I know Italian. I do not know French. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, he is I don't know French, maybe. after all. Yeah. Alright. Is that day two? Uh, unless anyone has anything else they want to do, that is day two. That's all the conversations I had planned. Um. Ah. It will hopefully be done in two days. Take a 20 right. and just say, yeah, you know it. Uh, well, B. Or I guess it's uh, it day depends three, right. then, if no one else had anything they wanted to do. I need to eat a perception check from the scouting crew. Oh! Yay! Okay. You three of us. As well as me. <laughs> Or not any not anybody yet. that would be looking out as the sun comes up above the horizon. Ooh, who wouldn't want to miss up on a fucking horizon? I have the dice in my hand. That I got a nineteen as I sell the boat. I don't know. Is it fifteen? Uh, with my nine. roll nine, that is a eighteen. I got a nine. <laughs> anybody with more than a thirteen notices what seems to be an island coming up on the horizon in front of you. That's no moon. Isn't there no island ahead of us on the map? There is not an island ahead of you on the map. Interesting. That's no uh, moon. I'm gonna wave o wave down. Uh, I don't know their signals. Never mind. I'm gonna say we should, we should probably inform the captain in case they haven't seen. Land ho! Maybe that that landmass is not on any known charts. Okay. So, you want to use the radio, or are you going to try to flag them? Or use more spill or something? Beep, beep, beep. Might, as well, beep. might as well give the radio a try. How long will the radio last once we hooked it up? If we on hooked it after we uh, did a response. Uh, he didn't really give you a timeline. He just said it won't last forever. <laughs> hmm. Alright. You want to uh, use the radio to inform him? that there is an island that is not on any known charts ahead of us. He's probably already seen it. Since we're in the rear, but... Well, you're on the right, he's on right. the right. Oh yeah, that's right. So you're using the radio? Yeah. Alright. So, you call over, you say, Hey, no, no. It's not on the maps, but it looks like there's a island coming up on the horizon in front of us. If you, if you look, you know, you give out the coordinates. It's a very rough direction. You know, it looks like it's coming up over there. And you wait a couple minutes and you get a response back. Yeah. Confirm what you're seeing. It definitely looks like there is an island coming up. Although, I don't remember that being here when we came up this way. But... Would I know what a dragon turtle is? <laughs> what a dragon? What the fuck is a dragon turtle? Dragon turtles. It's kind of like a Are lion. Are scary. They're... They're scary as fuck. Yeah. They're kind of like islands, though. Basically, so... you know Avatar? 
Okay, I'm looking at it now. I, I yeah. googled it. So that what, is... what they do kind of is cool. they will hold ships hostage until they throw money at it. Yeah. <laughs> but they can be mistaken for islands because of how large they can be. That is kind of cool. Um, Roll me changing the lore. <laughs> to see if you know what they are. It's, uh... 23. You've heard stories of them. You've never encountered one, but you've heard stories. And what have I ever encountered in my 300 years here about a moving landmass such as this? Oh, Since you I would have you heard over the radio them saying the fact that it was not here before. You would have heard stories. Oh yes, you would have heard lots of stories. What do these? What do the people here call it? <laughs> Mountain fish. Uh, um, uh, I'm oh, going to look and make sure what? that there's no M Lemurians nearby us, and I'm going to say that is potentially a mountain fish. Yeah, they're and not, and all. I'm, the, all the Lemurians are looking off the front of the boat. That's they're already funny. seeing it. Yep. Uh, I'm assuming we need to avoid that at all costs. Oh. But, uh, I'm doing that well. would be wise. <laughs> I'm going to look back to you, Isaac, and say, you might want to inform Captain Reddy that we need to steer very, very clear of that That's mountain it. fish. Uh, Reddy, it's a mountain fish. I thought it might have been a dragon turtle, but it's a mountain fish. We need to steer very clear of it. I didn't know dragon turtles were a thing. Yeah. They're really fucking neat. I made an I entire fu I like in the one of my original campaigns. I made it a, ma a floating island mass that pirates used to stage their ships off of. So it <laughs> moved around as a floating base of operations, and people were wondering why pirates would appear and then disappear and then suddenly appear in the northern seas. Oh, I figured that one out. I remember that one. Yeah, and that's also why I thought maybe it could be one of them. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I will transfer I love that. I, I love those things. They're so fucking cool. I, I was yep. thinking of throwing one of them in uh, the first the campaign water? I ran around the water, and then I looked at the staff block and went, "No!" <laughs> it's like no, <laughs> no, 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 no. With, without um, without guns on a deck, you're fucked. Yeah. Even guns on the deck, you're fucked. So, because they could just chew through your keel and you're fucked. So what does that pop over the water? What does Reddy say to that? He Reddy's back with an affirmative, changing course. Hopefully, the other two follow. Uh, I'm imagining Wolfhard. that the proud boat is not gonna move. Hold on, uh, Wolfhawk, do you know any uh, signals to communicate to other Lemurian ships? Uh, yes, I would. I would assume I would. Could you signal to the other two ships that we are changing course due to the mountain fish? Please tell me this is not an intelligence roll, Dustin. Please tell me I just know this. You you would know. Oh, thank Christ. <laughs> you, you would know. I, and I will tell Reddy I'm unhooking the radio now so that we can conserve battery. No. You get affirmative. I'll unhook the battery and proceed to take evasive maneuvers as Wolfhard is after, doing his little dance. Wolfhard signals and, and the you can see Walker has already started turning on the other side of the two homes. Now you see the two homes begin a very slow arcing turn away from the direction following in the direction of Walker and you follow them up. Ooh! This is why your communications officer Wolfheart. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't plan on killing you with it. I fitted. As soon as we got close, it was just going to... I no, was banking well, on the fact assume... that you would see it and avoid it, to be honest. If none of you had seen it, um, then I would have had to figure something out. 
Hmm. Question, if I use an instant repair scroll and it ain't half the ship, does half the ship forcibly remove itself from its stomach? Um... Or does the scroll produce a half a ship magically? I think the scroll... I don't know. I have not delved that deep into my instant <laughs> repair scroll. Alright. But... <laughs> All I imagine is that you have a single plank left of the boat. Use it. Boat reappears. <laughs> What's you your get, butt? You get swallowed with the half of the boat. You use the repair spool. The boat pierces the stomach. <laughs> yeah, it just shoots out the side. So where do we put this tooth on our necklace? <laughs> Next to the rest of them? <laughs> Yeah. It's... You can make a sword out of those teeth. But... Alright, yeah. so... With careful monitoring, you, uh, you are able to steer clear of the mountain fish, and... It does not seem interested in you. Lovely. As you... skirt off to the left of it, and go around. Um... Eventually, about midday, you notice it just kind of sinks. Like a submarine. And where there was Sub a once a small, Somewhat. rocky looking island, there is nothing but a slow rolling waves of the ocean. I wonder which was worse, a dragon turtle or one of those. Um, a sub-mo what now? A, a dragon turtle. No, 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 you said, you said something about a submarine. Oh, submarine, yeah, the underwater boats that we have now. Underwater? What? Yeah, the tops are sealed so they can submerge fully underwater to... I don't know what depths we could hit at World War Two. Deep enough. Deep enough. <laughs> to merge fully underwater and use... They use filters to recycle air through so that they have a constant flow of air, right, Dustin? Uh, Look. that's not true, back then. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know the inner workings of submarines. I back then, they had a... The Germans only had a thing where they could get close to the surface and it was a pipe and it could get the air out from the surface but it's basically ju just like a giant straw yeah. yeah that wasn't until like world world war ii somewhere in there this is world war yeah. probably even probably maybe even late world war ii but it summaries are not something i've delved into that much strangely enough yeah me neither i don't know too much about them but they are they uh and metal tubes that go into water. R remind me to be more terrified of the inventions you're, that have happened in the last 300 uh, years. I believe, was it Albert Einstein who said you will see um, what is it? Creations that creations of mankind. What's that quote? You know what quote Not I'm saying? Not a clue. Hold on, hold on, I'm gonna find it. You see man made horrors beyond your comprehension. Uh, horrors. Beyond my comprehension. You may leave to live to see man made horrors beyond my comprehension is a quote from Nikola Tesla. That is not Albert. That sounds that sounds like a Tesla thing. Uh, it's quote from a famous scientist. Interesting. But the progression of time. Uh, time for Lemurian lessons with war parts. 
I hope you roll it. Would they get assist? Uh, could I assist uh, Jacob in the teaching now that I know? Uh, sure. Because he has a, I, I think you have a better teaching modifier than I do. Two, plus two. Um, I, I roll. I think I rolled. I don't know if it popped. It oh. did. I don't see it. So I get advantage, is what I'm hearing? Yeah. Yes. Nine. Are you shitting me? You're one short, aren't you? I'm four <laughs> short. <laughs> 25 short. How did you catch up to Justin? Because I Gosh. have... Minus two because Irvi has a minus two intelligence compared to my plus four. Ah. I understand. I went to college. <laughs> Not for language, apparently. That's Didn't actually you what you went to. Anthropology. Didn't, Didn't you also like roll a nat one, Irvi? Yes, Irvi rolled a nat one. Yes, I did roll a natural one last session. So. We don't talk about that. Ah. <laughs> uh. These are refreshing group activities, keeping us sharp. Alright. So, anybody else, anything? Can I join in on these lessons? You can. You can, yes. All Go right. ahead and roll an intelligence check. This is gonna be bad. Not, uh, not looking great here. My intelligence is plus two, so. Yeah, so that's a ten. And Jacob, what did you get, a nine? Yes. Uh, for the last one, yes. yes. Yeah. Okay, so you get to add 19 points towards learning Lemurian. And once you hit 150, you are fluent. Basically, you, you take the teacher's role plus your role and add them together. And if one of you rolls a nat 20, you double it. If one of you rolls a nat 1, you half it. All right. Yeah, day four. Anybody have any conversations they want to do, or do you want to just do Lemurian learning and be done with it? Lemurian learning for now. So I did All this. Right. Right. I don't have any. All right, everybody do your roles. Yep, I know Lemurian. Congratulations. Fucking god damn it. This is going to take forever. Hey, 19. And, and then Mr. Cheaper Man at advantage. Ten. I have not rolled. Yeah, you get advantage. Ten. You get advantage because oh. I'm assuming Austin's still helping. Mm -hmm. Eleven. Eleven plus. All right. What the fuck? My eight. God damn it. Uh, don't worry, I didn't help you teach next time with my plus four. And I did do the teaching. Okay, Alright. Right. And there was evening, and there was morning. I'm at day. 144. <laughs> we still have to roll. Alright. Alright, day five. I will teach. Do I have advantage on teaching? Wait, Is someone just, assisting me? As, as, as long as someone's helping you. Yep. Yes. Okay, I got it. I learned it. Okay. Oh, well, I'm helping Joe on it, too. Thank the gods. So, that's a 21 points, Joe. You want to roll your chat? <laughs> I check. Your intelligence, if you're still trying to learn Lemurian. I, I rolled already. I got a 19. No, for the next day. For, for the uh, next day. That was day four. This is day five. 17. Oh, 
So, 21 plus 17. Plus You've had some solid rolls. What are you up to? With Me? those three days. Uh, no. Go. Oh. So, I got 17 plus 19 plus 13. That's what, 50? Have, have you been adding the instructor's rolls as well? Uh, I have not. Yeah. So, I think yeah, it was... Add, add those as well. It was a, a 9, and 11, and what did you just write? 21. Okay. Yeah, add that as well. So I'm up to 77. Okay. Jesus. So you're about halfway there. Well, Anybody? Course. Day 5. Anything else? Going once. Going twice. Soul. There was evening and there was morning. The sixth of the day. The sixth Lemurian lessons. Right. <laughs> oh, that's only a 19. <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh. oh. Five. We should have been doing this since uh, day one. So, a 24. <laughs> In total. Point five. So that 19. Uh. Oh, Lady Tail, would you like to engage in a chess match as I offered you earlier? Huh? I said, would you like to engage in a game of chess, chess as I offered you earlier? Mm, I suppose we can pass the time. Right. Of wisdom I, usually for this. Uh, intelligence is typically what chess is considered. You're better with, than so. me. Fifteen. Three. <laughs> Isaac has a convincing victory. So how are you lighting the ship and the crew? We shall see. Once it actually sees combat, then we shall see exactly how worthy it is. How about the crew then? Same. They've been able to survive in calm waters and calm weather, and with no contact of any enemy. Ah, what about so the, uh... the fact that they started looking? towards the front of the boat when the mountain fish was on the horizon instead of manning any weaponry to defend ourselves or trying to immediately try to get us away from the situation it shows weaponry to defend yourself they have bows at least clutching a bow terrified is being better than gawking at it that is bad. my point <laughs> Fucking clutching a bow and gawking at it is the same action. What do you mean? <laughs> it's the same thing. Rather than getting closer to it and looking over anyways. the ocean, looking over the edge of the boat, one hit on the side of the boat, let alone it getting crunched in half, is gonna knock them over into the water. No. Uh, what my, about the choice in officers, Lady Tail? What was that? Your choice in officers? Yes. I mean, it's the crew you're used to. It is. Without knowing almost every language I've ever taught to him in. Made him seem like a good pit for communications. Correct. Tuba was a doctor on the old boat, even though he's lost his magic hands. Still a decent enough fellow, just a little awkward every once in a while. Hmm. I'm getting old. What? I'm getting old. I accidentally leaned my knee up against my desk at a weird angle. Now it hurt. Oh. 
Welcome to the old person club. I'm 23. I'm gonna be a quarter century old in two weeks. Adam has, uh, very good eyes. I'm Indeed. rolling. Uh, though I haven't seen it yet. But I would imagine. Yeah, everyone fits it at roll. Chat! Chat's just a very angry Lemurian. He's not an angry Lemurian. He rages pretty often. He's a barbarian. Which means when he he's rages. not. Which means he's, he's not... angry! When he's not fighting, he has never been shown anger other than, you know, when he found out Silva was fucking his sister. Yeah, him and Silva. Which, I'll be honest. <laughs> understandable. I, I understand it. Response. I understand if Silva, it. If Silva was fucking my sister, I'd hit him too. It's okay. <laughs> Don't you just have a brother? That I know of. <laughs> Uh, Dad, speaking of that, I hope they're getting along. Hound did wish for them to. I haven't heard a gunshot, so... Yeah, yeah I was going to say, they haven't killed each other yet. Oh, I don't think Silva... Progress. Silva may be dumb enough to shoot his gun on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, that... Like, I don't think... Silva's dumb enough to... <laughs> You're right. <laughs> that, roll, I roll, love roll. that pause, Josh. Where are you having this conversation? Uh, probably at the probably at the fucking deck still. Yeah. Oh. Alright, roll, roll, roll the perception. perception. Yeah. Now that you're talking about Silva and Chap getting along. Oh god. Right. Fourteen! Give me a sec. Seventeen. They are conversing quietly, leaning over the rim. That's when I brought the nurse into the room, chat. <laughs> Silva thrown <laughs> off the ship. <laughs> you, you know, Isaac, I was about to make the exact same joke. <laughs> I was going to phrase it as, do you think this is the moment where he tells him that he had a two-way, three-way with his sister? Uh, I mean, he is dumb enough to do it in a position where he could fall to his death at a moment's notice. I have no idea where that dice went. I've been sitting here throwing my dice all day and I don't know where that one disappeared to. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Benji, go find it. So, I'm sorry, I had to show Taser how to make ramen. But, he does strike me as the kind of man that would say something like that in a position of such vulnerability. Hmm. Alright. While well, you guys continue this conversation, I gotta go put some shorts on because these pants are just too hot oh yeah oh he turned Take off his camera off. instead of putting on the show uh, instead of fucking tease us like that and turn off the camera uh, uh, all y'all all y'all go to fucking horny jail <laughs> excuse me yeah, i was you, not part of that yeah you put all the horny people in jail what's gonna happen an orgy <laughs> not there's enough bars <laughs> Listen, alcohol has nothing to do with this. You know, Cole, no, before really. that, I was going to say hand. that you could be in... Uh, Cole, before this, I was going to say that you could be the warden of horny jail, but never mind. No, no, that's a real terrible move over there. <laughs> I don't want to be the warden of horny jail. Yeah, what, what do you think the night stitch you used for? God. <laughs> <laughs> You, I don't trust myself to be around these fuckers. What are you uh, talking about? You don't they're bad influences. And you don't have to deal with it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, what, Josh. God damn it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jacob. 
I just see your nostrils flaring up every time you breathe. I'm glad that I can still wire you up like that. I'm gonna go make another pot of coffee, cause fuck you. Yeah, what the fuck is me? Jesus. Oh no, Jesus Not needs even me. Jesus could help these fuckers. Uh, <laughs> now, not ever. Uh, Jesus needs me. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell him you're- I'll tell him you're coming, so he can run. But he was the one supposed to come first. He, he already has came. He will return. <laughs> anyway, so, are you guys done with your day six shenanigans, you fucking uh, demons? Hey, I believe so. I'm gonna watch the silver chat conversation to see if he's getting pushed off. Neither of them are getting pushed off the boat. Can I approach them? What's it? You want you want to approach them? Uh, yeah, but, but uh, you do seem to be dead in the lawn. It's good to see. Silver <laughs> will just say that's what Hound wanted. Ah, uh, Silver. And I'll ask, uh, I'll say in Lemurian to chat. Uh, is it the same reason for you then? And he'll just kind of shrug and say, When my sister was told she could not come, she asked me not to kill him. You know, I thought you, he was a little... Uh, this is a Lemurian. I was going to say, you know, I thought he was a little comfortable leaning to the ledge with you there. <laughs> yeah, I heard... Uh, still in Lemurian. I heard Reddy turned her down. And I'm a little bit happy to hear that. That's a money. Hear that, Silva? Chat's happy. Silva will drape his arm around Chak, his big old Goliath arm around the little five foot Lemurian and say, Well, that's good. <laughs> He's my little buddy. I can feel darts aimed at Silva, and I'm not quite <laughs> sure why. <laughs> Just a guess. You know, whoever takes the most out did riding rights if we did a tat. Just keep the its own tally. Silva, you did out above ten, right? I think that's asking a little much of him, isn't it? Adam, was that a jab at Silva? <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> no. Well, if it was, I was starting to compliment you on slowly coming out of your shell, but... If not, you should work on that. <laughs> the silver has right. any response to us or no? <laughs> no. Uh -uh, so. No, he's too busy looking at the landmass that just showed up ahead of you. <laughs> what? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> landmass on the map, Silva? Oh, yeah. This land mass also has buildings. Oh, oh thank fucking oh. gods. <laughs> the way you said it like that. Oh, my god. Uh, sorry, Silva. A voice in my head that sometimes sounds oh, I, like I, I, I did it that on purpose. I told me that that land mass appeared and I thought it was another mountain fish. So, Austin, what you miss is I talked with Silva in chat and we have established Silva's playing nice with chat because Hound wanted him to. And Chat has agreed not to kill Silva once his sister was not allowed on the boat. <laughs> and then Adam took a jab at Silva, and, you know, Isaac asked if Silva responded, and I'm like, nope, Silva's too busy paying attention to the landmass that just showed up in front of the boat. Again? <laughs> no, see, it's a natural fucking island this time. It's just a dick. <laughs> 
good way that you did twist it. He's just going to come! Not, not Dustin. Dustin won't come from getting his tit twisted. He's, he's been lonely that... for how many years? He's not that degenerate. He's his best. definition of degenerate is test. I used the same paper double times in a row. That's not degeneracy. What? And I don't even know what he's doing. You, you said you had a file. You have a file that has all your old like essays you've typed up on them. Oh, yeah. yeah and you classify mm. that as degeneracy. Oh, hi, Jacob. <laughs> How far out are we from the landmass? Uh, hi, uh, Jacob. <laughs> probably, but probably about an hour or two. Welcome back, Jacob. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and string up my bow. Yeah. Okay. You guys are gonna make me take it on the vacation. Days. God, I hope so. You need it. <laughs> I'm excited for yeah. my vacation, so I don't have to deal with you fuckers with this campaign anymore. <laughs> You I'm only the have one okay. more after this! I know, I get to be the fucker now. I, I miss being the fucking the fucker. <laughs> Here, here's the, Dustin, here's the problem with that. You have to roll well to do that. It's it's still comedic when I fail. The only <laughs> thing that fucks yes. Dustin is dice. Yes. Ha! I'm a decent person. I'm not an asshole. I'd say Excel sheets too, but he, he fucks back to No, me. I made them like bitch. <laughs> <laughs> there are two types what, of people in this What world. a man. There are two totally types of people not a in nerd. this world. Those that are happy and those that are good with Excel. <laughs> so Does that sound like a man who fucks Excel? <laughs> I said good with Excel. Which that means I'm not happy. <laughs> ah, that means it's defeating you. You may be winning, but it's beating you. So, uh, uh, do we, uh, did we make like it to the uh, island safely? Yeah, two hours passed. You make it to the island safely. And, uh, you're greeted by a number of boats pulling out from the shore of the walled city that lies in front of you. Walled city? Oh, no. Jacob just died. I'll wait. I, I, oh. I'll wait. I'm waiting for Jacob. The wall. This is, this is, this is too big. Build the wall. I mean, just another brick in the wall. That's what I meant. Build Question, the what wall. kind of boats? Gunboats. Small. Very helpful. Small, <laughs> small fishing boats. Okay, thank you. Not not warships. Yeah. There he is. We are preparing for war! They have struck first, burned the village. Ooh. You missed a lot, Jacob. You missed a lot. <laughs> I was gone for a minute. God descended from the heavens. And... Uh this... Jacob, we're at war now. This has become a crusade! We're, we're, we're at war now? Can I be war against you Kubo's guys? Character Is that something I can do? Garbage. <laughs> I mean, it can. We are at war with the Lumi. <laughs> nah, nah. They have fishing boats. Mutiny on the boat. He stopped as soon they, as he did. They, they, they have fishing boats. You died, I stopped. Yeah. So, you are greeted by... What the fuck just happened to my thing? You are greeted by uh, a number of small boats floating towards you. There are there are two headed towards each ship. Roll perception. Okay, okay. Oh, they're approaching the twitch ship armed, ain't they? Nineteen. Oh, they're all armed. Seven. And they're not hiding that. Eight. Much. Anybody that rolled over a 15. Yes. Hold on. Except for you, Kale. Yes. Well, you, you, <laughs> don't, you don't get all the information. Motherfucker. 
You see a human in the boat headed towards Walker. The rest of you that rolled above a 15 see a familiar human in the I rolled boat. rolled a 25. That's yes, headed towards did. Walker. Oh. I told you, fuckers. <laughs> yeah. As captain of Mahan, Jim Ellis. Oh, that that human. That's a good human. <laughs> no, it's not. The one that yes, got Jim. Mutinied. No. Yeah, Jim Ellis is the good one. Oh. That's Ellis is the one who got mutinied on. Yes. Ah. Yes. So as as former captain of Mahan, before the mutiny, Jim Ellis is on the boat heading for its walker. I'll kind of look over and say, is this one of the, um, well, from, um, the, the other boat, Mahan? I, as I point him out to, to Isaac, who I'm standing next to, who can't see him, apparently. <laughs> Isaac's not the most perceptive. He's very smart, but very zoned out -y. Ah! Ellis! <laughs> Time to <laughs> see. He was the one that got mutinied on. I knew it. You guys didn't say it was, but I knew it. Oh, Reddy didn't tell you there was a mutiny on the other boat? No. He mentioned that there was a disagreement. And that they parted, they they went away from the plan. Oh, they went I had away my from... suspicions. <laughs> well, also, if Reddy didn't tell now, you, you is didn't everybody, hear it from me. Is everybody back in Tailspire? Yes. No, I had to I had to oh. reload. Okay, I I saw your thing pop up, so I wasn't sure. Oh, are we ready to switch boards? As soon as Jacob gets in. I'm coming! I'm coming! I'm coming! I came. I don't want to know about the dildo in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right, I'm in. You can All right. Me now. That's what she said. Summon me! Oh, great God of Gods! He's a Pokemon. Oh. 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 I only oh see my character. Oh, there we go. Jesus. Oh. I can't even see it all. The f it's so foggy. The fog of war. Yeah, I literally can't get rid of the fog. I don't know why. I think it's just the time of the day or something. Uh, there I don't... should be an ambience thing, I think. Yeah, my my fucking shit is set to. Oh, that's the fog multiplier. There we go. I was now you I was hit look... apply. Yeah, hit apply. I am changing other things as well. Oh, okay. Uh, Ariel. Grande. Yeah, Ariel Grande. <laughs> Ah, there we go. Uh, it's too close. Wow, it's and... right where I said it was. Look at that. <laughs> I, I found a different thing that had different kind of fog changers. And I thought that's what you were talking about. I'm like, this isn't working, but okay. Wow. That now, now I found the fog multiplayer. This is a very large map. A very nice town. Just wait until those police week. sirens? Yeah, why is there police sirens? I don't know. I picked city. Okay. But apparently it's a modern city. Yeah, I was done a comment on the uh, seedles in the other one. Uh, I, I I think the one I usually use is market. Market? Yeah. So. Hey, well, what was wrong with the seagulls, by the way? The seagulls! They should have been pterodactyls, so I just thought the postal surface. <laughs> well, this you seagulls. <gasps> Did pigeons evolve into existence again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is the city of Ariol. Surprise, they not burn to the ground. They let us here easily, right? They haven't tried to. They have that. not been aggressive toward me. Um. They do say in the Lumbians, which they actually address Jack rather than you. 
Uh, but obviously, since you understand Lemuria, you understand it. They would invite the leaders of this boat to join them and the leaders from the rest of the boats for a conversation. I will thank them for the invite. <laughs> and, and in, I will in, as well. in, are you in you're, you're directly thanking them in Lemuria? Yes. Okay. They look at you in a shocked sort of silence, briefly, and then say, our apologies, and they gesture towards the boat. <laughs> How many people can actually fit on the boat? Like, will the whole boarding party be able to fit, or is it just going to be, like, a couple of it, us? It, it will be enough to have, like, the main group. So you okay. find the so it can hold about 10 people but each boat was sent with approximately five armed people mm. so right, you thought you... like you five could make it but silva and chat left to stay behind. between silva and chat who seems like the most responsible and smart one chat right yes, uh, silva. yes. and he'll be able to chat? communicate the most I'll, i will say in the 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 i'll say the chat uh chat you are acting captain why i'm off the ship he looks at your surprise and thanks you. Well, you speak Lemurian? And I trust you not to, you know, accidentally light someone on fire trying to dance. Is <laughs> 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 that a Lemurian to him? He looks at Silva and laughs. <laughs> just got burned and he don't even know. Oh, man. Silva's like... I feel like you're talking about me, but there's nothing I can really do about it. Yeah, so it looks like, I feel like something's going on here, and I don't like it. <laughs> I'll chat to your boss till I dip back. Have fun. I don't know. <laughs> and I will go on to the other boat. <laughs> All right. Are they the stopping boat. us with the fact that I still have my, my big-ass boat with me? Are they nope. stopping me, or... Okay. Nope. And they're armed, so... And usually, last boat that I was put on, I wasn't allowed to have my arms. As as you sail back into the sea, or in towards the city now, towards the shore, you now notice that there are a significant number of guards armed with bows um, on top of the walls that are just overwatching the whole thing. I'm going to ask one of the uh, people taking us where uh, Ellis came from, if they know anything. They'll say, I think that's a question you should ask him yourself. Yeah. But he's not on our boat, is he? Nope. Yeah, I didn't think so. Well, we'll wait till we did the show then. Thank you. <laughs> so, you, get to sh you get to shore um, from the other boats you have um Kaji and Adar oh, oh, god, nice. oh and Adar god damn it that I just realized something what there's probably another sky priest here <laughs> yes uh. but yes yes there is um I just just a thought So there's a Kaji and Adar came on from Salisa home. Um, Kasra'ar and his sky priest came over from Naraka. And you know, my dice. And then Walker is um, What's the word I'm looking for here? Ready. Represented by Captain Ready, Bradford, and Lieutenant Tucker. Oh. Surprising he brought Lieutenant C Tucker, not Chief Gray. I was expecting Chenya, but aren't they? Benji. I'm surprised that actually brings Chenya, a man who is reptilian in nature, to a bunch of people who hunt reptilian things, probably not the best plan. Yes, Shinya is not one of the 
boarding party, I guess. Yeah. Representatives? As a... Yeah. So he... They, they... Yeah, ambassador, that's a good word. <laughs> so they escort you all to the shore where you are all met up. And it is there at the shore you are asked to leave your weapons behind you. As the sovereign would like to speak with you. I'll just kind of look to look at Captain Ready, roll my eyes with a sarcastic grin. <laughs> uh. So in this situation, with my armor being both armor and weapon, do they want me to take my armor off, or do they not realize it is a weapon? <laughs> is it obvious that it's a weapon? No. They no, they don't. Have, they don't ask you to remove it. Because it's gonna get real awkward if I play my. Full body covering armor shrinks to scale mail for me to just go boop and pop it off. I don't want yeah, no, to. They do not it. ask you to remove your armor, just your weapons. All right. All right. I don't have any uh, weapons, so I. Uh... I Captain know. Redding would uh, pull his pistol from his holster and his um, academy sword from his belt. And set them in the boat, which returned from. You would also, of interestingly note, Captain Ellis is not armed. Yeah. That's not a good sign, guys. No, no, it's not. Good thing I'm keeping the armor on. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'll never get to shoot this fucking bow. I'll put it, <laughs> no. put it aside. <laughs> what do you mean? You scared the child, remember? Yeah, once. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta shoot it. You no. scared a small child. So, yeah, yeah really, it to be now. accomplished. Uh, out of curiosity, uh, do they make Wolfhawk disarm himself as well? Yes. I was. They make that. that. They make All Wolfhart take off his clothes. No. Whoa. <laughs> All of you, in, in, including Kaji and Kasra R. Is that normal for them? Between leaders to take off their weapons? Well, And I will uh, actually Kijin... look over at Adar and Kaji for that. And I will ask them in common, since I know that they know that. Okay. Adar will respond in common. The Ariolans are much more warlike than most of the people. They have frequent battles with their sister city, Mbado, as he points across the bay to an island where you can just make out small structures. Uh. And with that, I feel a little bit more comfortable with it. Where they do tend to ask visitors to disarm themselves. Uh. You would also have noticed that the Argolans did not call, they did not say their high chief, they said their sovereign mm. would like to speak with you. Yeah. Is that also uh, normal? Do any of them have uh, the tooth necklaces like we have of the super lizards in the uh, dragon? No. No. Noted. <laughs> Alright. So, after you all disarm yourselves, you are escorted into the city to the large structure in the middle. If y'all just yeet yourself over there. Yo oh Jesus. Oh god, yeah. too far. Too far. Um, Where did I go? <laughs> just use the arrows. Just use the arrows. <laughs> oh, I found me. Y'all wanna know how I ended up? 
<laughs> Sorry. God, shaking my entire dent. Was my sneeze? No, I was mashing my button. Raising. <laughs> the tape is holding well. Yeah, the tape on his camera is holding well. I have up. a ring light and I have it just on oh. the camera. And it, uh, uh, it's not balanced perfectly. Or it's perfectly balanced, but unstably. <laughs> as, as all things should be. Yeah. So, Alright. We made it to the door. Yep, yeah, you, you're all escorted into the door. Um, let me just move you, Adam. As well. Um, all right. You may enter as you are escorted inside. I can't get any fucking closer to the goddamn map. <laughs> <laughs> if you walked into the building, it would zoom you down to the building's level. Not really. Other than the drain one, then you had to move the drain one. Oh. Fuck! Why is this like this? Jesus Christ! Why is what like what? There we go. Now it's closer. Oh, oh God! But it can't move too fast. <laughs> why so, is why is wolf hard? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Because there are only two fucking cat full minis. All right. So. Wolf, are you didn't tell me your brother was in charge here. <laughs> we have an in. I thought you dead. <laughs> we have an in. Wolf hard. Quick. Appeal to his familiar bonds. <laughs> oh, you know what? We could just kill him and make Wolfhart in charge. You son of a bitch! I killed you once. I'll do it again. Got it. No family here. Go sleep. Go sleep. Go sleep. Go sleep. Hit me first. <laughs> right. So after you enter, that you see there is one man or one Lemurian sitting on a on a raised platform in an actual chair. Not on the typical padded cushions. Is it similar to the chair? And you were... No. Okay. You said he's well, alone in here too. Well, apart from the guards, I just. Okay. He, he, sure. there, there's a number of guards in here as well. Okay, so it's like he's here to al he's here alone. Yes. Even without weapons for us, that's that's not a good thing. To do, unless this guy is confident in his fucking abilities. I mean, no, I just didn't want to put all the guards in there because this map is big enough as it is. That's you know. right. <laughs> I didn't so feel like he's... making it any more complicated than it already was. So he's there in front of us. So he's there in and front yet, of you, and he's. And yet and I he see says, that sack and two cups in the corner. He has PTSD. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I started decorating the inside of this, and then I was like. You got two if squares in. <laughs> if if I decorate all of these houses, I will be doing this for weeks. And I, I was like, no. <laughs> I, li I literally see the two squares you decorated and then stopped. Yeah. Okay. So, what does he say? Uh, he says, Lord Rulak demands to know why you have made your presence here. Did we think to bring the body? With us over? Uh, no. Because of how long it was going to be, you sent, ended up sending the body off with a you know, typical Lemurian funeral overseen by Eddard. So, ah. I will say one of the bodies of his people was found in the cave with the winged li winged serpent or winged lizard whichever terminology Wolfhart used the first time did you say you come all this way to bring me news 
of the death of one of my peasants. Oh, I see how this mm. I don't like that. I see where we're we using the peasantry. the British. <laughs> and you... She really is um, just it, like the British. Straight up and looks you over at Liza. Armed. To tell me this information. I'll kind of raise a, raise my voice and say, to be fair, the assumption was that there was, that your da your people may have been in danger of some sort of attack, either inside the city or parties sent outside. So we figured we should lend a hand if that were the case. The only danger my people have ever faced is from those Mumbalans across the way, and they are no match. For us. Quite. We do not need your assistance. Even against the grid. Ah! A foolish tale told to children. That we took that ship from them. <laughs> yes. Of course you did. And I suppose as payment for saving us from the Brick Threat that we didn't ask you to save us from. You would like a reward. No, actually, I wasn't going to ask you for anything. I'm, I'm just going to look over at Isaac and say, perhaps we should let, um, uh, um, the, and the, the, and two, then try this one. The, the two Lemurian leaders try to speak with them. Yeah. And I'll say that in common, instead of... And uh, he, he, he'll chime in as soon as you start speaking in the language he doesn't understand with. Seize them! They plot against me! As the guards all rush you and grab you by the arms. Hmm. And I, I will say in common, pretentious little prick. Told you he takes after the British. Fuck you! <laughs> he he would he would get off of his throne at this point and come up to you. I'll and just he'll... look down at the little man. Yeah, he's like three feet shorter than you, and he he'll look up at you and say, "Do you have something you'd like to say that I can understand?" Why, yes. I was merely stating that instead of us peasants as you referred to us uh, speaking with you, that the leaders of the two homes we came and accompanied with should speak instead. Yes, perhaps. Maybe they will be respectful of my station. I will just bow my head and I will play the nice please, act. Please tell me you had butt him on the way down on it. <laughs> I will bow my head. Thud. Fuck. <laughs> no. I don't think I can reach that far down. He, he will retreat back to his chair and take a seat and say, Release them. And let me speak with those that know which, what, that know what they speak of. Has he noticed the necklaces on us yet? Since he be... got closer? Yes, yes, he, he has now noticed. He seems to respect strength over Scratch. anything else. Scratched on my chest. You know, right where it's hanging. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, oh, yeah, he, he noticed. He doesn't give a shit. He either doesn't understand the significance or does not care. We're both. Yeah, we're both. As... So, add on them on here as well, right? Yep. Um, do, uh, does Adar pass by, uh, or any of them pass by us when when they come forward? Or are we all kind of like, you know, big ass line? Um, you're you're basically kind of in a in a semi circle kind of thing, just all okay. Talking to them. Then, because if they had gotten closer to me, I would have said, 
good luck with this one I, uh, underneath my breath to them, but if they're point... not getting closer. <laughs> so, like, we're in a semi-circle, right? So yeah, I, would gesture, I would kind of gesture to Adar. Uh, yeah, Adar is the one that likes us the most, right? Is that not your mouth? Adar is the Sky is, Priest. Yeah, Adar is the Sky Priest. Kiji is the High Chief of Salisa. Nakja Mur is the High Chief of Balkan, and he stayed in Balkan. Okay, mm. so Kiji, not Kiji. Kiji likes us the most, right? Yes. I will. Yeah, probably. Kiji likes gesture, us. He thinks of an American friends versus the other one, which to, does not. I will just to Kiji, and when I do, I'll cast a message to him to ask if they respect strength or not, which can only be heard by him. Okay. Like, do he, they respect? He, he would hear your voice and turn towards you and say, and Erin just nod. Noted. But let's not just fight them, because that's a great idea. We didn't hear that. I know. <laughs> I don't talking. think that's what Josh was going for I, either. I know. He's trying to show off the lizard teeth, but More than that, they I, don't know about them. I, don't I think. possess a good amount of strength compared to the average person. So, yeah. So, because you would come forward and say, we merely came to make sure you had not fallen to the Grick. You may not believe that they are real, but trust me when I tell you I have fought them myself, and the nicks on the blade of my sword will tell the stories. And my friends, as he gestures to you guys and Captain Reddy, have fought with them alongside you. Indeed, they're magnificent weapons. Saved many of my people, if not all of them, when the Grick attacked our bone in a show of great force with six of the vessels, like the one that now resides in your harbor. They are friends and allies of mine. And if you seek to continue trade with my people, I would ask that you can that you treat them as such. <laughs> <laughs> and Lord Brolak turns and looks at him and gives him a glare. One of those if looks could kill kind of things. And says, but if they have one misstep against any of my people. Oh, God. I will send them to meet their false gods. Hmm. I have a feeling that I might be assassinating the king. Oh. <laughs> ah! Not another oh. one! <laughs> Is there windows then, in this room? Yes. <laughs> and then Jim Ellis steps forward. Oh, I was gonna. And in Lemurian says none of my have caused you any harm, or any harm to you. In fact, you claim that we have helped you with the presence of our great ship when we steamed in those few weeks ago, scaring away the bodies. These are my friends, my allies, and my countrymen. 
and they are here merely to offer assistance, just as I did. And I know you do not trust me still, but I will vouch for them personally. Something's up here. <laughs> Something doesn't make sense. <laughs> well, are the human lizards prominent on this continent as well? Well, who are you asking? What language are you speaking? I'm speaking in Lemurian to them. Just they would say, "What is a super lizard?" Oh, have you not seen them? Massive in size. They haven't seen Grick, so do I'm not surprised they haven't seen Do you them. speak of the mountain fish? No, not the mountain fish. Not the ones that swim in the water. They travel on the land. They're very prominent in... What was the name? Baltpan? Baltpan? Yes. The, well, I guess it would be more so the, the island of Borno. Yeah. But... Area around. No, they are not... Why do you think we chose here rather than that? You would hear a massive sigh of relief come out of Wolf Hunt. <laughs> <laughs> like a weight has been lifted off of his shoulders. Suddenly so, there's a super lizard outside the gates. <laughs> you as, as, as he was saying. As he was saying. He turns and glares at you for daring to have the audacity to sigh while he was speaking. Jesus. Um, as I was saying, why do you think my people find no need to travel to that nasty island? Oh. I, 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 so I, I, I now I I agree with Austin. <laughs> <laughs> this oh. man is going to have an accidental death. So did, did everyone miss my comment? What kind was that? So there is something you're afraid of. Those bodies have been the only threat, you could say, to Mati for the last, well, more cycles than I care to remember. And apart from their famed orphan queen and her select few warriors they are nothing hmm. ah, he's a little man who has a little penis that doesn't like many, women in power <laughs> how, many seasons, <laughs> how many seasons have you seen my friend oh, I won't say my friend but how many seasons have you seen Cyclops. How old? How old does Isaac Alden look? Peasant. Isaac does not look a day past thirty. <laughs> he, he would look at you and say, "More than you have, oh hairless one." Ah, so you've been around longer than twelve thousand seasons. You make fun of me. No. When it comes to the my age, I am always going through my area. head at that sentence was it no, no, we're not, because it'd be way too easy to make fun of you. <laughs> <laughs> I am always deathly serious when it comes to my age. He's always just deathly serious. Dustin, at this point, my <laughs> eyes are kind of just roaming the room. Okay. Ha ha! Uh, I'm 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 now taking note of guard rotations and and all that <laughs> for future knowledge. There is no guard rotation. There's a dozen guards standing in this room, and they are not moving from their spot. Oh yeah, no. Time. I'm just saying. From now on, I'm okay. keeping track of guard rotations and. Okay. 
And I'm and I. What's that, Justin? Right. Will this be the second I'm king that you assassinate? <laughs> I'm curious What's what the first king? Today. Slavar. He wasn't there for that. He came to me willingly. <laughs> oh, and he died willingly what? too. Oh, no. What did he say to that? <laughs> what does he say to what? I said I'm always deathly serious when it comes to my age. I'm not making fun of you at all. He doesn't have a response for you? Because he doesn't believe you? Eat his ass. <laughs> Whoa. Did you say beat or eat? <laughs> <laughs> I heard eat. Eat his ass. Eat his ass. Silva. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Eat that pussy ass. Wow! Oh! oh what's up, pussycat? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What up? Eat that pussy. I can see mm. that you have some Shut doubt. up! <laughs> As you can tell, Reddy's here, right? And Reddy doesn't yep. speak Lemurian. Nope, not yet. Not, not fully. Yet. But he doesn't he's, know he's what I'm saying. He's getting... Just he, he, absolutely he's, get, he's getting the Cliff Notes version from what he does understand. <laughs> so, Which is nothing. He's been working oh. with Bradford, but as captain, he's had other matters that have taken precedence and has not fully become fluent. <laughs> what benefit would I have to lie to you about my age? Isaac, let's just drop the conversation. So why are you to do so? So if there was no benefit, there's no reason for it to be untrue. And yet you do it. I don't. <laughs> Isaac, drop it. This is not the time. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm just going to give him a look. Isaac or the king? The, the uh, Isaac. The sovereign. Isaac. <laughs> Isaac. What what could we do to earn the respect of the sovereign? God. You could destroy the island of the battle. <laughs> Ridley up there. Weak attempts. Hmm. Hmm. If they're uh, weak, then why would we help you? If you can do it yourself. If I could destroy an island, do you think they're they would beneath be my time? Oh, I'm not working Anyone for this guy. Worth your time? <laughs> if anyone is worth my time, they will meet me in a little battle and surely fall. Ah. That's the wrong choice of words, Dustin! Just up your sleeve, don't you? <laughs> How much of a fighter is this man? Just looking at him. <laughs> looking at him? I mean, he, he's powerfully built like Jack. He's, he's armed with two, you know, scimitar-ish blades. What are they and made What are they made out of? Yeah, the blades real quick. I'm sorry. Uh, they look to be almost brass. Hmm. Bronze, maybe. Similar to what Kaji's weapon would be made of. Not right. Hmm. So, he would then say, "What do you seek? Here, you have delivered your news. You have other business." But it would be prominent to try to gain. What's the word I'm looking for? 
relations of a friendlier nature if we are to be traveling the seas. If you do not threaten Mike, we will not threaten you. There's no intention of threatening your people. Best assured. I would not pass that lie detector test. I said I. I <laughs> know uh, we'd be we'd be okay because we would not threaten his people, but we will threaten him. <laughs> Have you seen his attitude? He is his people. He is a threat. Mm. Are you familiar with chess? Oh, Josh, please, for the love of God. Chess. A team of strategy. The only strategy I need is military. That's exactly what chess is based off of. Then I would assuredly beat you, but I do not know this game that you speak. I'm just gonna look over at Reddy, like... <laughs> oh. You're kidding me. How long do I you think do you... Oh, you'll do me a better. This one favor. I will allow you to stay in my harbor for the night. And you... We'll leave and return to your own holes. Come morning. Holes, huh? Holes. The last person I met who lived in a hole was a winged serpent. <laughs> Josh, you are trying to get us fucking killed! Well. <laughs> Serpents in holes where they belong. <laughs> this is oh. I don't think oh. he got the message there, but okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you should like, I don't know, do like the cool coin finger thing, but with one of our jewels. <laughs> and we promptly whooped his ass. <laughs> I'm, uh, may I ask, do you forge your own equipment here is the last thing I want to ask him. Of course. Our craftsmen are the best that there are. Hmm. Our weapons are superior, and therefore my soldiers are superior. Superior to them. Kubo. Ubo. The balls. Ubo. Oh, you're balls. supposed to be Harry Balls. <laughs> God was damn, that you're Miriam. <laughs> I say that. Oh, do I dare? Do I dare? I think yeah. you already did. I Ubo's dare. already in his. I say yeah, in Latin. It, but it was... In Latin. Yes. Oh. <laughs> ah, we are far. <laughs> looks questioningly at you. The Sky Priest from Naraka <laughs> turns and stares at you with an open mouth. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> he didn't know that. <laughs> <sighs> Lieutenant Kubo, may we not do this. Uh, do, do you know and at, at, at this outburst of this language that he apparently does not understand, he says, Be gone from my chambers. I have more important matters to attend. <laughs> um, great sovereign, I have a quick question before I. Leave. I said, Be gone! <laughs> oh! Voice is a little high pitched when he gets angry. Yeah, and yes, that was intentional. Nice. <laughs> hmm. Just smile. Mm, nod. Hey. 
what seems to be the captain of the guard comes over and kind of just escorts you out and after you get outside he turns and says I am sorry he has been most unpleasant for the past few weeks did uh, something happen? We are not sure. Uh, he only recently he came to the sovereign when his father passed. He was not so difficult was, before. Was his father a great sovereign? His father was close to uniting us with the bodies and there were those few on both sides that did not agree with the move and while it was never proven he believes that it was the bodies who killed his father and what do you think I think his father had seen more seasons than most, as it was, especially for one that would lead his soldiers rather than command them. Any uh, inkling on how we can earn the respect of him? I heard you respect strength here. To be honest with you, he does not so much. We do. And if your great iron ship is as effective of a deterrent as your friends, then, well, you've already earned my respect. Respecting people for what they made is well and good, as a craftsman myself. But, uh, Do you think perhaps he lives in the shadow of his father? Perhaps. Well, I, I have a question. And I hope you do not take this as uh, offense uh, in... But the relation with the Mbayan people... He mentioned that the queen of them them was the uh, orphan queen. Yes, Sophia Morab, the famed orphan queen of the Latin people. She is well. Long have our people skirmished, not so much for true hatred of each other, but as something to do and something to, to please the gods. Hmm. 
who is? Oh, I, well, you're not done. See, mm. I, I uh, yeah. No, that was that was that was kind of it. Who is the false god here? Any. The. I do not know your views on theology, but I know the most Lemurian people have a belief in the stars and the ancestors to guide their lives. Yeah. This is not a common belief among the Arvialans and Bumbadans. Many choose instead to worship a, a deity who is pleased by acts of strength, courage, and honor on the battlefield. With a culture like that, do you have any injured? Like that, uh, currently that you know of, a uh, medical tent. We do have medical, but it has not been full in, in a few weeks since the arrival of your friendship. The Combatants have not mm, attempted to make contact. Are there any there now? Mm, I would, I would wager not. I was offering to heal them. That's what I will say to him. Your offer is appreciated, but unnecessary, and I have probably been gone too long already. I will I, have I, more troops escort you, return you to your ships. I do have one question. I know that Mr. Jim Ellis, or Captain Jim Ellis, and his crew are here. Have you seen uh, any other tailless ones or the furless ones as your sovereign put them there are a quite a few aboard his ship they tend to keep to themselves although whether that is because of their own choosing or because of the actions of a lord world I, I could not tell you it, it is just that I am searching for someone who is taken by uh, the Grick. Yeah. There. Well, so Jim Ellis is here with you. Do you yeah. want to just ask him? <laughs> uh, I was just meaning, I didn't know if... Yeah, no. I was going to ask him afterwards, but I didn't know if there's anybody okay. besides the... The, uh, the Americans. Yes, there there are others. Bes no, Maybe. besides the Americans? Uh, the guy you're talking to doesn't know the difference. Uh, that That's just kind of what I meant. Like, is there anybody besides Jim Ellis and his crew? No. Okay. Because then I was going to ask him afterwards. No. There, there is only the, the people that came on the ship. Okay. All right. So. Thank you for everything. The captain of the god. He will bow slightly and then turn and return into the large structure through the doors god. and shut them behind him. God, I just realized something. I can't do what I want to do because it'll Assassinate be pretty obvious. No, it'll be pretty obvious who it is because there's... my bow is pretty one of a kind and so are its arrows. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna <laughs> look to everyone in common and go, ah, he was a piece of work. My mind turns. 
More like you, a scene. As, as, as you're just seeing her. was a much better man. More like a piece of shit. Oh. We said this in comment, by the way. And she speaks comment. Oh, oh, Khajiit yeah. said. I thought you said the captain of the guard said no. that. Oh, no. No, the captain of the guard is gone. Khajiit said his father was okay. a much better man. Hmm. I should probably apologize for what I said in your whole No, it's language. okay. Don't. Uh, are you, addre don't are you addressing? No, Wolf. yeah, I, it doesn't change my are, are, I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, except Wolfhart. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, are, are you, are you addressing uh, oh, the. Don't apologize. Are you addressing the other uh, Sky Clan yes. leader? Yes. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, he, he, he would turn and say, Where did you learn to speak the. Sacred language for people. Who taught you this? Oh, is he not? And then he'll he will look pointedly at Adar. And I, she will step. Uh, she'll step and like, um, our people taught it to your people. If you if you remember. Therefore, it will let that him look at you incredulously. I meant the. I meant the. Where we where we came from, our people taught your people that language in secret, and it was passed down by your sky priests. That language still persists in our world. And I guess that is a deception. Yes. But a little it's, bit, it, yeah. it, 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 it's kind of a de it's deception. The fact that I'm skirting on the fact that yes, I know exactly who taught you your to, taught your people this. Uh. Also, Tubo, not knowing yeah. what you said doesn't change my answer. It seemed like it was called for. I see. So what was uh, did that? Did that roll? It did. It's a four. To them, maybe. It, it, I thought it rolled, but it didn't pop up on the thing. It's oh, not, you it's know, not I popping think up. It's, I think it's glitching inside the building. Yeah. Is it? Okay, I see it say fourteen, so I'll take that fourteen. Okay. Uh, plus. Ah. Uh, for deception, oh, I don't have a good he, deception. He he got a ten. Yeah, I have a plus zero deception, so not good at lying. Really? He does he does end up believing you. But at the same time, if a jar recognized me, then he might recognize me too. So <laughs> thirteen. Does that beat his ten? No. Yeah. Oh no, he wasn't. The 10 I wasn't the one that rolled 10. I had a 17. No, you... It's something we already know, though, but that's okay. Uh, okay, honestly, I wanted to roll. <laughs> he, uh... But he doesn't recognize me, unlike, unlike Adar? Uh, it does not seem like it at this point. Yeah. Wah, wah. I thought he was going to attack us there for a moment. I was kind of hoping he was. I was kind of is... hoping he understood me. But... Hey, Dustin, is there a good line of sight that would. From, for a window to see directly into the throne room? From a point of vantage? From a vantage point? No. You'd, no? you'd have to be on the ground. To get a window that goes into the throne room, you'd have to be on ground level. Damn! Sucks. We just have to barricade the door and burn it down. Uh, well, it's more the fact that I could. It's just that I can't be hidden when I do it. Yeah. I love how you're planning the overthrow of a fucking sovereign. Uh, it's not. Moral. It's not overthrow. It's moral. just okay. The assassination. Moral crusaders, man. Replacement. Uh, I'm sorry, but what subclass am I again? Yeah. So, well, yeah, I know, but at the same time, you weren't ordered to kill this man. Not yet. Don't have to be when you're a dick. And a civilian. <laughs> In a peasant. I'm not family. part of the navy. They can't court martial me. So they can't also, remove your weapons and break you. I can't believe he they told me. A, I can't believe he called me a peasant. Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Well, that reminds me, Lady Kell. I apologize for the England comments. 
I'm gonna. Hmm. They use not forgiven, asshole. They use I'm gonna comment, comment on the I can't believe he called me a peasant. I'm gonna say, what's wrong with being a peasant? I grew up on farmland. Being Good roleplay, Co. Hell yeah. Yes. <laughs> Nothing wrong to say with being a peasant, but to call the captain of a vessel a peasant when you invite the leaders in is kind of insulting, wouldn't you say, Adam? He didn't necessarily invite you in, he requested you. It, it wasn't an option. Ah, but... Your presence was requested, not invited. When you request someone of authority to spit on them... In yeah, a, you know, yeah, I, I still sense. understand what you mean, but yeah. it, it was not an invitation. It was a, hey, get your ass down here and tell me what the fuck you want. That Adam. That is the main thing I drew issue with. <laughs> Adam, that's like, you were the captain of the ship. Oh, oh God. What are, you, what are you planning? <laughs> I'll say you finished. Uh, I oh love how you it's... set up the city. So... Adam, as is was... this going to turn into an extra week because of the shit you fuckers are about to do? We'll find out. <laughs> but uh, Adam, find out oh next time. Oh my god, <laughs> Dustin. Austin. Yes, I'm. I'm well aware of that. <sighs> I'm. So, I'm well aware. So, uh, Adam, as I said. Uh, not so much that he called me a peasant, more of when you invite, well, request people of authority from vessels that have landed and you spit in their face and such, he meant it to be demeaning. I can show him demeaning. I'm going to hold out my gun. Adam, Adam you, you don't, don't have, have your gun. You don't have it. Adam? They got taken at the gate. Although you are being escorted back through the gate. Adam, if uh, to say this kindly, I will get the first hit if this comes to punching. Uh, at that, everyone make a perception on me, please. Oh God. <laughs> Just to Is see it where perception you... or insight. I guess insight. It's up to you because it's more of where my eyes are directed and me and the calculations that are running through my head. I would I say insight to try to get a get a read on what the hell you're planning here. I got a 19. 22. And 18. I guess and that's... You, uh, I need you to roll deception. How open am I being? That's an Very eight. open. <laughs> but, uh, so you got an 8? Yeah. So Captain, I am just... Captain Reddy turns over and looks at you <laughs> and says, <laughs> As if you Captain... will not... I was like, Lady Tell, we, whatever we do you can't mean, do my that. dear. Uh, if you do so, I will. I mean, move. you will not, uh, Lady Tell, or you will find yourself in the belly of the flasher fish. Uh, <laughs> La Lady Tell, Reddy told me if I gave you back your weapons, that I'm responsible for anything you do. So I'm gonna side with him and go a no go on that. Again, whatever do you mean? I'm just looking around. You're not you're not as subtle as you wish to be at the moment. It's <laughs> kind of a trick. <laughs> Again, if it comes to combat, I will hit him first. We just need to earn his respect through strength or the respect of his people over him. Or you know, well, we could break honest, his ankles with a wrench. Next to him, my arrow will reach him first. See, that's what I'm talking about. Don't, don't give me a reason to have to take your bow away, Dad. I wanted to be cordial and friendly with you. I was wanting to be cordial and friendly with him too. Too bad he's a prick. Again, I'm just thinking. Doesn't hoping. mean I'm going to do it. <laughs> Is that <Yeah>. a deception? <laughs> I I did. I him said off. I did say yet. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, I, lady tell, I, I suggest you avoid doing it permanently. I mean, permanently. I did aid him on a bit. I said avoid doing it permanently. 
He did eat a lot a bit. He didn't seem to like that much. In all honesty, I kind of wish to speak with the Mumbaians and see their sides of things. Because if they were this close to, you know, re uh, uniting the people and no longer fighting, and the only leader that was left alive to do that treaty is the Mumbaians, I wonder what happened. I have she a sneaking ha suspicion the son killed his father in order to uh, further his hate cycle. More than likely. Well, in, in all think, honesty, buddy. player <laughs> me immediately p picked up on the orphan fact and makes me think that those two may be brother and sister. <laughs> what, uh, what do you take on it, Reddy? I think we should do whatever we can to avoid upsetting him for the time being. Because... I was talking about that. We know that he's not a threat to us, and one shot from Walker could devastate a large portion of that building. But and she will rather... just look directly at Red and go, Oh, so it's fine for you to con contemplate shooting him with a fucking missile from your, from your ship, but me shooting him with an arrow is so out of the question. I did not say... You I thought about it. it. You you thought about but it. But I am saying, and she's just smiling ear to ear. I am <laughs> saying it would not be good diplomatic relations to off their ruler. I Nor think... will I accept the risk of affecting civilians. I think the point that, that is uh, something you that missing, you and me can agree on. I don't want to risk civilians, but I think the point you two are missing is that using the bow or the very large gun is a little less personal than punching him. And that's the point. It doesn't need to be personal. Well, Lady Tell, a man like him and his people looking up the strength, if you beat him in hand to hand combat, I reckon that you're going to be the new person in charge. Uh, but well, here's the thing. Long story short, I will hear no more conversation on the topic. Nobody. To he doesn't deserve the recognition of being strong. He needs to be cut down. That may be. But none of us will be the ones to do it. I will not. He looks pointedly at Kale. She will not as well. Sir, the ship had a misfire. <laughs> it's all spinning over Adam, here. Adam, we don't have cannons. <laughs> no, no, like the big so, ship. I will say, it is, it is getting dark. You guys sold, sailed most of the day and got Should here. we speak to Captain Alice? Captain Reddy? Uh, yes. And then he looks over at Jim. Would you mind? Uh, let's go to Walker. Um, I'd love to hear. I've heard some, but I'd love to hear your tale and, well, how you're here. Because last I heard, Kaufman had thrown you, well, out. Ellis just nods and says, yeah, let's, let's go. It'll be good to get back on, on home. Oh, by the way, I left uh, Chat in charge of the other ship. He felt more responsible than Silver, ready. I hate the fact that you ran about that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that long pause All I can thing... imagine... No, all I can imagine is Captain Ready and uh, Khajiit just look at each other and go, Yeah, probably right. <laughs> that's all I can imagine. That, that, long that, pause that's not canon. that long pause made me think you thought I made the wrong decision there, but I thought I was on the right track. Like I said, I hate the fact that you're probably right about it. He can't be trusted. He lit someone on fire once. Thankfully, there was some seep involved at this uh, meeting. That's not going to be in the meeting. 
Yeah, but he's not gonna smell it and go off lurking. <laughs> I'm mean, officially to find him to the boat, but he hasn't done an off of it yet. Ready? I will meet you on that ship. I need to tell Silva <laughs> not to leave. Oh, I thought you were going to double check to make sure Silva hadn't already left. Oh, that too. After that <laughs> meeting, you know Silva. I know Silva. It's gonna break that poor Prince's spine. I think him and Chak will work together for once and do that. It could be a bonding experience. But hey, it will I'm be gonna, a bonding experience. I'm going to go. I'll, I'll make the loop. Sound good, ready? Yeah, sounds fine. We'll wait for you. I, just, I realize Silva's habits and this place will not take him well. No. Um, well, at least the one that could, you know, order him executed them. Yeah, and if he tries to execute Silva, then we have to actually intervene. We do? <laughs> Silva's great, of course we do. Silva, Silva's heir, now married to the heir of a wind clan. He has political value on both sides. Oh, that's oh, right. God. <laughs> Silva's basically a politician now. Uh, that makes sense. Politician having three ways? What else is there? Talking out of his ass? Oh my god. Uh, while, a um, politician! While, uh, Isaac's talk, gonna talk to, uh, uh, or go check on the, the bitch. Uh, which one? You know, the one we've yeah. been discussing. Um, I know. I, I I I'll talk to Mr. Ellis and ask him it, um, if a certain young lady is in his presence. She is not. Shit. That makes another reason why I want to go t talk to the Mumbaians. Perhaps we best leave that for the morning. <laughs> and then, so you all pile into the ship. You go to Walker. Um, you go down to the wardroom. Juan brings out sandwiches and sweet tea. And I'll ask Juan a, for coffee. A, he already brought a coffee for you. Yeah. He's <laughs> like, thank you, dear. Uh, Isaac shows up. Yeah. After Chad. going and talking to Silva. Yeah. Chat, don't let Silva. Silva had oh. not left the boat yet, so you're fine. Silva, don't leave the boat. The or, you know, just it. say, hey, don't bring a boat back to this boat until I'm here. This boat is now quarantined. Yeah, uh... <laughs> don't let Silva leave. Silva, don't leave. If you do, Reddy is liable to shoot you. You don't let me have any fun. Silva, I'm gonna be honest with you. The guy in that office is a prick. A very massive prick. We're not very supposed tiny. to say that. So, if you throw off the boat and you cause issues, and he executes you, or tries to, we don't want to deal with it. So you just stay here. Fine. We've already been on this tub for six days. What's one more? That's what I thought. How many... Chad, I was just saying, man. Chad, how, how many people do you think would take the halt down if he tries to leave? Okay. Five? <laughs> Alright. Seven people are always within repattling range of Silva till I get back in case he tries anything. Oh, Last yeah. time he wandered off, he married your sister. Keep that in mind. <laughs> I'm gonna go. <laughs> uh, he, he, he technically, looks, that's he, not he true. He looks at you, then 
looks over and, yeah, this is technically not true. Well, the first time he wandered off, he married your sister. There you go. So, so he, he looks at you and then looks over and barks a word and ten Lemurians come over. That a boy! <laughs> All right, so Silva now has 10 Lemurians for what I did back to the meeting. So, Pat has 10 Lemurians on standby to tattle Silva if he tries to leave the ship. He thought five was needed, and I told him the first time he wandered off, he married his sister, and uh, Chat decided to double the number. Ellis just looks at you and said, you want to run that by me again? Oh, well, Silva <laughs> married the heir to the Wing Clan in Salisa home, and then had a three-way. Uh, uh, I'm sorry I asked. I'm forgetting I heard that. That's what I thought, Ellis. I'm sorry. You're not Daddy, sorry, Josh. Right? Captain Reddy goes, Anyway. Uh, I can see you yeah. two are really good friends. I'm sorry, but I'm not apologizing because it's funnier that way. <laughs> uh, Jim, so run us through what happened. And we got Lieutenant Ben Mallory showing up in a goddamn plane saying that Hoffman had shot you and taken his ship. And those of you that have more than a seven passive perception will notice that Ellis has indeed been walking with a limp this entire time. That shot in the leg. Well, yeah, so after is this the same ship that we took off from? And Captain Ready nods. Well, damn. Well, after they showed up, we took off for Perth like was the plan. And, you know, things were going okay for a little bit, but uh, we started rationing the food a little bit. Because one, of, one of the freaks got hit by a shell. That fight with a mug. So, we, we had to ration, and Doffman thought heading for Cylon would be faster than heading to Earth. And he had, a, he had a number of people that ended up agreeing with him, and one day they decided to take the bridge, and I got shot in the struggle for the gun, and they patched me up, well, one of the, the, the two nurses did anyways, the third one, she, uh, I'm sorry to say she didn't make it. We uh, we ran into a a Greek vessel. So I've been told they're called um, by uh, Mr. Kaji over here. I'm assuming they're the same, at least. It's almost like Velociraptors. Yeah. And when she realized that we weren't home, she, uh, she couldn't handle it. She, uh, she offed herself. We got two, Cop boys. Stop. <laughs> Cop and uh, after he took the ship, had me locked up after, you know, my, my wounds were dressed. <laughs> I was locked and confined to one of the rooms and only had a few visitors. After maybe they were ones that were loyal to Kaufman, at least at first. Well eventually he realized that with the run he had a attempted to make to Cylons that we weren't going to make it with food. And so he uh, had us drop anchor and uh, 
a number of the crew went aboard yeah on the uh, the south side of Java and uh, well a couple hours later next thing you know I'm hearing a plane flying off and Kaufman never came back most of the crew that went with him never came back he had one. He hasn't spoken a word since uh, he got back to the ship. And, uh, well. At that point, they, they let me out. I took control back. and I figured we weren't home home, but figured I'd make for Surabaya and see what I could find. And I found this civilization here. And so we dropped anchor and cut down a bunch of trees and branches and made some camouflage for the ship. And we've been here for I don't know, a week or two, maybe. Hmm. So Mallory actually found you, huh? He must have been the well. We heard that plane, so uh, he must have been him. Yeah. Glad he found you. Would have. <laughs> Where? Uh, you guys have just been floating around, or what's, what's been going on with you? Well, obviously, you've got friends. Captain Ready relays everything you guys have been through over the last. Well, since coming or since splitting apart, yada yada, we don't need to relay that because you all know what happened. Yeah, we'll show him the teeth and the, tell him about the super lizards and the dryden. Be like, hmm. Well, killed plenty of Japanese, but ain't never killed one of their gods. <laughs> yeah. You haven't, uh, you haven't seen a Magi, have you? No. Does he? Good. Was he here when we when we let Shenya, uh, uh, like around the boat? Uh, no. At the time you split, Shenya was still, um, confined. Ready? Maybe we should inform him that uh, Shenya is helping us. <laughs> yeah, that's probably not a bad idea. That uh, that Japanese officer that he pulled up that was unconscious has uh has given his role and has been quite quite a help actually. As long as we don't ask him to directly go against the Japanese, who well, frankly don't seem to exist here, thankfully, he uh he's been more than willing to help, and he's he's more than pulled his weight since we cut him loose. In fact, I, uh, well, our friends here obviously have their massive ships that they treat as their homes, but we found a, a civilization somewhat similar to, to this one here. And, uh, he's back there with the, the Marine Lieutenant, or the, the Marine Sergeant, um, Sergeant Alden, back at Balkan. They're, uh, they're training foot soldiers. Oh. With the, uh, with the Rain still of, the main? Rain of marine contingent. Well, they're, they're not focusing too much on steel blades right now as they are on... I wanted it to be surprised, but can. When we get back, we're outfitting your ship. 20 pounders. I did cannons ready? <laughs> Genuine joy spreading across that <laughs> space. Quick question, Don't... just because I want to, Dustin. Yeah. Does my features as a sharpshooter extend to cannons? <laughs> <laughs> <No>. Fuck you. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> That'd be so fucked. <laughs> that would be so fucked, and that's why I said no. <laughs> you know, you know what the best part is. I you could theoretically make that argument for artillery since that's just a big gun. You could. It's definitely no. a valid argument. But I am the DM, and I say no. <laughs> hey, I can make ready shoot even further straight. <laughs> that sounds crazy. Thank you, ready. That would have been an amazing surprise. No. Naturally. Lieutenant Letts has uh, stayed back with Mallory, and they're working on some other uh, some other projects as well. Ah. You know, you know, a marine training them, and that's uh, them are pretty hard to kill. <laughs> um, yep. Anyway, no. he looks out the window. Looks, we should hit the sack. Get up early tomorrow. We'll, we'll go talk to them about this. See what happens. See what we can find out. And Jim, I'd love it if you'd come back with us. My hand still works, right? And he nods. Well, and tomorrow morning, get your crew taking that camo off because we're going to be moving. We're going to get literally half a mile away from this village, and it will be on fire. Taking bets. Now. Oh, no, it's probably going to be because of us, too. No, in <laughs> all honesty, I, I have a feeling that we might be joining the war with the fucking Mumbaians at this point. Oh, uh, I mean, if that less of so, so satisfying hearing all of your theories. And then Bradford Listen, comes learned... in a mech suit. <laughs> Bradford, you gotta clean that out, man. Just things don't come out. Listen, that man was an asshole to us, and that is liable to get him punched. Was I aiding him on a bit in the conversation, hoping yes! he would hit me? Yes. <laughs> oh, as soon as he came up and started looking up at me, like it, as a player, I'm like, do I just fucking, do I just go for it, man? Do I, do I just literally choke him out because he would uh, his, he is such an arrogant fucking bastard I bet I could jam my eye, my thumbs in his eyeballs and get sneak attack because he would not expect it getting attacked it. <laughs> by a woman nonetheless so, I, I, and the best part thing. is that would have been an auto crit <laughs> there's one more thing I want to get to tonight so alright all right. Does anybody else have anything they want to do? I need to pee. Before they go to bed. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep an eye on Lady Tell. <laughs> okay. I don't, I don't think you're gonna kill him, but... The fucking person I need just left, goddammit. Ah, so we also have, uh... How Silva with his ten man brigade. Annoyed. Uh, what do I have to do with Del Chat? But last time he won, the first time he wandered off, he married his sister. And look at that. That dedication to keep Silva on the boat, Lady Tell. Do you see it? <laughs> Lady Tell? Okay. Hmm. Yeah. He can't be trusted to wander off. Silva would have actually hit him. Would have Silva would have hit hit him. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. But as a ranking officer in the navy, I chose to wait for him to swing first. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So nobody's doing anything from what I can hear, really. No, I was just trying to talk in the past the time while we wait for you, Justin, that they're done pissing. After I grab, after I grab my weapons back, I just kind of look back through the through through the uh, the front entrance and kind of just look at my just line up my shot without like without picking up my bow to that position. I'm just like looking down and seeing this, the straight this shot. Gate, 
his gate does not have a straight shot at the door. Oh, is it like an actual like full gate? And when it closes. Well, yes, but look where you're at. You're over here. Oh wait, but I thought we came through this side because this is the side with the ocean. Oh no, it's not. Yeah. Shit. So I would yeah. have to go to a different one. Yeah. But yes, this gate, now that the darkness has fully closed, or fully, well, I guess fully closed, but the gate is also closed. Mm. Okay. Anyway, Kubo. What? Kubo. You're missing some wall sections. You're a wall section. Bye, catch yeah. up. Oh, fuck. What's that? What's that? Right here. Up. Oh, she, I see that. She's going oh, back to bed. Oh, good up. Anyway, um, I'm gonna so catch Kubo. up. Later, catch up. Kubo. Bye. You, uh... you go to sleep. Oh, no. And you have a dream. In this dream, Tanya appears to you. She says, My knight, I have your first task. Saphir Marat. She is the key. But she must be saved. You must save her. There is a great battle coming. <laughs> Austin, that fucking face. There is a great battle coming. And she, above all, must live. Protect her. See that she lives to fight another day. Do you know? He is more important than you can know. My theory feels more and more correct. That they're gonna uh, have a big fight between these two, and you should just kill the guy. No, the fact that the reason why uh, the old leader was trying to make peace is the fact that the uh, orphan daughter is actually not an orphan, but, well, maybe now is, but is actually his daughter and was trying to reunite his people. And the brother didn't like uh, that. That's, that's my theory. So I she will reunite the two tribes together. Is my current theory. I see. Alright, so, Justin, do you have anything you want to say to her after this revelation? Is it the Grick? Or, uh, the Ariolans? The threat will be revealed in time. I cannot give you information which is unnecessary That's all you very need to necessary, know bitch. very necessary <laughs> all you need to know is that she must be saved yes uh, my queen my queen yeah. And with that, your dream dissipates and you awake in a cold sweat. Do you know the way? <laughs> you know the way. Uh, I, I um, go to the top deck. Okay. So you go to the top deck, you call Campy, and Campy is, is there, kind of standing How loud are you halfway. Calling? Uh, telepathically. Oh, okay. Standing halfway, um, up her, to her knees in the surf on the beach. Standing there. Damn it. <laughs> oh. Can you... 
swim over to can can they can telepathically communicate back with you in a in a language? Yes. Okay. Then you will you will hear. Of course. All right. She swims over to Umbato. You gave her no other instruction. Correct. That'll but he can telepathically message them across the entire plane. Yes. Yes. And can perceive through their senses. What's the range on that? Unlimited. I'm pretty sure the plane. It is the unlimited. The plane of okay. existence. Yeah. It's it's the plane I, I, of existence. Okay, because I, I think maybe it's Pathfinder that it's limited to like a mile or something. Yeah. Like that. It's also to see the pet of the chain warlock. It's what uh, yes. Ferdinand different has packs, used. different packs have different distances. Okay. It's what yeah. Ferdinand. Okay. I took the one that I can. All right. So you're taking her senses. Uh, when she gets there. Okay. So yeah, she she gets there, and she would be, I am here. What is your next command? happen to be able to change out a horse form, would you? <laughs> to something more subtle. Hmm. You can't really change your familiar shape, right? We discussed um, the owl thing. Okay. We did. Yes. Yes, we did. Forgot about that. <laughs> okay. So... Yeah, she turns into a watery owl. All right. Um, is there also like a hut, uh, similar to the pricks? Uh, there. Yeah, there. There's. It's a. It's a smaller settlement. Okay. Um, but th there is one that is not necessarily larger, but set apart, and has. A few well-armed guards standing outside it. Okay. Um, are there any windows above the ground level that you could potentially look through? No. Shit. No, it is. This is a single-story hut. Hmm. Are the guards all around it? Yes. Uh, is it also a walled city? Not as intricately. Um, it's more reinforced bulwarks than true walls. Um, but there, it is, def it is, it does have defensive positions. Okay. Specify when the battle is coming, just that it is. Okay. <laughs> okay. Is that saltiness I hear? <laughs> no, just facts. Um, right. Well, don't want to risk you getting caught. Uh, you can come back to the ship. I think I got at least some information. Okay. So, you you are you dissipating your senses? Yes. Okay. All right. So before too long, um, a owl comes and lands next to you, a very very blue, very aquatic owl, oh, you and then transforms into a horse. Oh fuck! <laughs> on, on, on the deck of the ship. Oh, okay, can't okay, be. They do it above you. <laughs> oh, can't be. <laughs> oh, in the morning, I'll... Uh, uh, 
I guess what time of night is it? Um, in a little after midnight. Battle's coming, we're gonna need rest. All right. All right. That's where we will end Something doesn't this really session. Like They're not the radio pits. And Alice took that over, but he never tried to radio us. What do you mean they got the radio fixed? That's what Mallory told us. They got the radio up and running, and the no, they men... said that they broke. They took the parts to, so that way they wouldn't be able to repair the radio. I thought he said he got it up and running, but they didn't want people to know, so they didn't tell people. No, no he said that he didn't want people to know about the 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 uh, the mutiny, so uh, they made sure that they couldn't repair the uh, radio. Hey, Dustin. Yeah. Total side note. Um. If you now go into the Starfinder thing, there's now a oh, no. um, a job thing that is now a total fucking uh, graph that I've made that has expenses and yeah, uh, it's a God, totally where, working and where graph. Did you, and where did you send this? Uh, no, this is just in the, the Starfinder folder. Do you not have that yet? I remember you shared it somewhere, I just don't remember where. Google. Yeah, I have like six Googles. <laughs> oh my gosh. Me, Google. Uh -huh. I don't know which. It was like Google Docs, so let's see. I'm assuming I gave you this one. Let's put a try. Uh, Dr. Dustin is the one I have. Alright, shared with me. Ah, I, okay, I see it. I see yeah, just oh. a jobs sheet. Yep, yep, the, um... <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is now a fully working PDF that I will now use to calculate how much money you made on a job. Alright. Oh my god. And it ha even has expenses, because you can buy ammo and buy health that they can drop for you. And if you're defending something, and you let it get shot, well, there's a repair cost for that. that. Nice. All right, I'm gonna go make dinner. I don't right. usually this, make This will be cheese. for Starfinder? Yes, for, for the second campaign. All right. Okay.